We bring ourselves to this house as the door slams shut and you can hear the sound of a hammer buffeting against the wood. An old woman holds the door shut. And she turns to all of you and says, What were you thinking? I told you to get in the house. Why did you wait? She slams shut a bolt. And after a while, the banging stops. I wasn't going to leave them outside. People were dying. We could have died. What the hell was that out there? What the hell is any of this? Take a deep breath. Get yourself a drink from the bar. I want to talk to you while you're like this. You! And the woman points to Missouri. You're the only one that seems to have any sense about this lot. How did you make your way here? We just appeared here. You just appeared. And she walks over and she grabs your chin and she starts to look at you. She kind of pushes you away. Another one. But could we get more info about you and this place before we start talking about us, maybe? But of course, little one, what do you want to know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the Jesus Christ equivalent is. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I guess we can tell you more about where we came from, but who are you? Why do we trust you? That kind of stuff first, I think. My name is Lady Amelia Thane. Why you trust me is because I just saved your life from a pack of roving lichens. I didn't have to. I have people to protect, you see. And she points her out and you can see that there are women, children, families huddled in this house. I could have left you to die, but I chose not to. So for now, I am the only trustworthy person here. At the proclamation of Lady Boz kind of stiffens up, gives a small bow and we are most grateful for your intervention, milady. Uh, your, uh, we, I offer my apologies. We are obviously strangers. We have no idea what this place is or how we got here. But thank you so much for preserving our lives. As for where you are, this place had a name once, but we have forgotten it over the years. You are not in the world you left behind, whatever world it was. You have stepped into something new entirely. But, and she grips the uh, symbol at her chest, by the grace of the matron, you are safe. Uh, Red, am I... So, I, I've very graciously accepted the opportunity of, of solitude at the bar. Is that, like, a far enough distance away that I wouldn't be able to hear this conversation, or... Lady Thane is not a quiet woman. You cool. can definitely hear what she's saying. Cool. Mazora, if you're talking, someone seems to have taken your voice away. Um, how long do those uh, lichens stay around? They are unfortunately a constant threat, but... The large one that leads them, that is their alpha. He will go away at sunrise. But this tavern isn't safe. If he means till he can take this door down. We should move quickly when the rest of your followers have gathered themselves. I assume you are the leader. None of us really know each other. Huh. We all met by chance. Last night. This night still, is it? Well, if you mean to survive here, we will need to start learning to work together. That would be what I would imagine your first order of business. But gather yourselves quickly. We cannot stay here. There are special means of travel. 
Is there any like breaks in the wood where I can see outside? You can see through the windows. Um, I'm just constantly looking back at to where um, Zira and I were um, when my goat fell, and I'm looking for any remnants of him. Uh, roll a perception check. Uh, 16. Uh, you actually do see, kind of, it's, it's very vague, especially because it's dark, but even in the dark, it is surprisingly bright here. Um, the moon is bright and full in the sky, and on the white snow, you can see what looks like a splatter of black blood. But that is the only remnant of the goat. Just clench my fist on my chain. You said we're leaving. Where are we going? Uh, as you say that, a hand slams against the window, and with that awful <laughs> of claws against glass, one of the lichen starts to drag its claws down the window. We're going uh, to a safe house in the middle of town. Uh, okay. So, you said first order of business. Um, there should be only one order of business. We all, for various reasons, were sent here by... I don't, a, a turtle or something to kill or clear out whatever is causing the mist in our town. And Didn't once you we just do take that, a big hammer to the face. Yeah, and so we I should. Think that's a good bit. I think you need a rest before we do anything. I suppose. I mean, if you want to run out there like you are and take on that thing, whichever deity you follow, bless. But I'm certainly not, and I don't think you should either. This isn't safe. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is fucking safe. <laughs> there is a place that is safe. Two places that are safe at the town, but only one of them we can get to right now. Well, I'm all for going to safety. I'm just saying that we're talking about this like we we live here. We're gonna survive here. We're we're running an errand. I have a home I'm... to go back to. It's it's cute that you think that, but I'm afraid you cannot leave. You are welcome to try. Walk into the woods as far as you can. You will find yourself back here within a fortnight. There is no leaving. There hasn't been any leaving since I and my family came here. Let me see. Six adventuring groups like yourselves have come through since I was brought here. If I remember the timing of the entrances correctly, we have been here 600 years. Time is different here. So we're trapped in the middle of speaking, these woods. Perhaps the matron will take pity on you and give you an exit. This ma matron, who is that? The uh, circle with the wings. Yes, matron Lacromora. Uh, uh, we perhaps uh, get moving, either talk as we move or when we're in the safe place, because. Pointing to the scratch, what well, I'm presuming there are now scratch marks on the window. Yes. Yeah. Is it looking inside? Can we? It is. I'm yeah. going to try Let's... to do an intimidation, just staring at it through the window. Okay. I, need I have remember. moved as far away from the windows as I can get, looking straight the fuck down. Zier, can you move? That's going to be a dirty 20. All right, um, so you're just staring the wolf down, and for a minute it keeps your gaze, and you can see that look in its eyes where wolves, when they're looking into a light, you can see the light reflecting on the black the back of their eyes, and it's just glowing. And then it kind of starts to shrink away, and then it actually, like, turns its head and exposes its neck to you, which you recognize as a sign of deference. Impressive. I'm just going to point away and just turn back away and turn and move back towards the group and go, we should go. Um, as you point away, um, the wolf starts to move and then you see a gigantic hand grab this wolf by the head and slam it into the ground as the alpha regains control. 
we should move quickly now. And um, Lady Thane uh, moves Ooh. back to the bar where you are kind of leaning Queen and pushes you aside with some surprising strength for an old girl. Um, and she reaches under the spigot of the large cask of ale and clicks something, and the bar slides to the side. And you see God, it's a secret passageway. Thank God. stairs going down under the ground. She picks a lantern up off of the ground and says, I'm not familiar with what all of you are, so I don't know which of you can see in the dark, but those of you that can, stay close to me. And I'm even gonna... if you can, stay close to me. You don't want to get lost down here. Can you walk behind me? That light's too too much. Close your eyes and hold on to my shoulder. You don't want to lead through here. You don't know the way. I put my hand on her uh, on her shoulder. All right. Are the rest of you following, or do you want to try your luck here? Uh, I, yeah, no. I want to get... I'm going. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to be in the back, but, like, second to last. I'll be in the back. I'll do much what yeah. I did at the door and kind of keep my eyes on the windows, make sure nothing gets in, Let it, and then once everyone's safe. Okay. Um, a few of the families kind of, like, intermingle with you. Um, Zier, you're are you kind of like hobbling? I assume because you're yeah you're pretty Clo messed up. Clovis asked a minute ago. I think it got lost in the conversation. If if I could walk, <laughs> and I think Zier kind of quietly between the two of them would be like, I might need some help. <laughs> and so if Clovis is willing, if she could lean on him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Perfecto. Um. So as this is happening, and you guys are like making your way down, um. Did you have something, Mizora? Um, how close behind me is Zir and Clovis? If I'm right behind her, where are they? I think um, there's... otherwise we're next after you. Yeah, there's probably a few people between you, but um, um what what I'll do is um, I'll just whisper Zir, and and I'll reach my hand back and kind of move like I'm trying to reach her. It's up to her if she uh, reaches my hand or not. Yes. Um, did you touch my hand at all, or no? No, because she doesn't know what you're doing. Oh, here you go. Then, and you're <laughs> she's, just, like, and then, she's like, what is this guy? <laughs> just, uh, take my hand. Okay. And she'll she'll grab your hand. Um, it's probably too dark to see what would happen. Um, but I will do... Ooh, that's a nice one. I will do eight points of healing Ooh. Um, with my healing hands. Um, okay, so as we move down into the sewers, I will switch us to the next piece of music, also by Asterisk VTuber. Check him out. Yay. Love having a sound. I don't say anything to you, Zier. Once I, the magic concludes, I just would release um, and just continue walking with uh, Shotgun Granny. Um, yeah, I think, I think, Clovis, you can... Like, Amelia Zira thing. looks kind of confused, but you can tell that she's not leaning on you as heavily as she was, but I think mm. she still needs some support. Yeah, it's kind of a joint lean because yeah. you, as as close as you are, I think you would have noticed that whatever, like, battlefield courage Clovis had pulled out earlier to, to help He's Queen gone. and try and get everyone in, uh, the moment <laughs> the door closed, immediately evaporated, and he's, Excellent. like, mid-panic attack, quiet, yeah. internal. Um, so it's kind of a joint Gotcha. Yeah. Zir will look at you knowingly, I think. Like, she, like, recognizes that you're in a state of panic because she's, her connection with her siblings, she, mm -hmm. like, has seen this before, so you feel a sense of reassurance. <laughs> um, as you guys are making your way down, um, Queden and Missouri, you both feel something, but it's different. Missouri, you feel a small tug kind of on the back of your cloak or on your armor. Queden, you feel a hand kind of interlace itself with yours. 
and you guys I'm, can I'm gonna to yell. I'm I'm gonna yell. <laughs> um, you hear a voice. Hey, sorry, you you looked scared, and when I'm scared, mommy says I uh, to hold my hand. So I figured I could help. I, I'm sorry. Uh, d- child, where do we? Uh, where... Yeah. Hello. Uh huh. Hi. My name is Anya. Hey. Hi, Anya. Are, are you okay, uh, that's... sir? You look very no. frightened. In a word, I am very much not okay, Anya. <sighs> I didn't mean to frighten you. Uh, do you, no, do you want thank, to hold thank, my hand? Thank you. I um. Uh, I thank thank you for the offer. Uh, why why don't we just why don't we just keep each other talking, huh? Okay. Um, yeah. Um, at um, the front of the line. I'll I'll we'll jump back to you, Quedon. At the front please. of the line, uh, Missouri, how do you respond to the hand on your back? Um, I'll reach back and so like as I'm holding on a shotgun granny, so I will reach back with my free hand just to feel what is grabbing me. Same thing. A small hand. Are you okay? I just didn't want to be alone. My sister, my mother, always says for, to my sister that um, when we're afraid, we're supposed to hold hands, but my sister is helping your friend, so I thought I could help you. What makes you think I need help? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to be nice. You're, you're, you're new here, and I, I wanted to make sure that you, you were okay. And Do- the... The elf has the satyr, and the orc, he looks like he can handle himself, but you you got hurt, and you, you lost your friend. I'm sorry. Thank you. He had a good, a good death. Do you need help? I'm okay. Here. If it makes you feel better, and I'll, like, rather than the hand being on the back, I'll just take it in mind and go... There, I'll hold your hand. Thank you, sir. My name is Dimitri. Dimitri. I'm Mazura. Nice to meet you, Mazura. So now we'll are move you, back. Um, before I say, are you yeah. um, are you okay? Are you do you not like the dark or? I don't like being this close to it. I will use, um, I will say, hold on to my cloak. I will pull up my uh, my sensor, since it actually has real functions, and mm-hmm. I will use prestidigitation to light it and then hang it from my belt. There's a little more light for you, little one. And I'll take the hand back. You can see a, a small child, a small boy, uh, slick black hair, and he smiles up at you. Uh, so now we will jump back to uh, Quedon. So... What what is your name, sir? Uh, uh, <laughs> Queden. Que- Queden Sinosh. Yes. That, that is a funny name. I, I don't mean any it, insult. It's just not what I'm used to. No, it's funny. It, 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 yeah, it has a funny sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's real. It's real. It's real funny. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> it's it's yeah. okay. My brother Dimitri doesn't like the werewolves either. Mm. But I can be brave for him. I can be brave for Mama now that Papa is gone. So what? I I must be brave for you, for for my new friends, for for myself. <laughs> you don't have to be anything other than what you are. Mama says everyone is exactly what they need to be, exactly when they need to. Your, your mother is wise. Um. <laughs> these, uh, these lichens are a con- continual threat, as Amelia said, the lady. Yeah. <laughs> but only oh. at night. 
And only when the Alpha comes out. He doesn't come out all the time. Well... The, uh... The cruel fate of the world uh, swings on me once again, but... As... As you said, we... We must be exactly who we are. So I am trying to get through this, whatever this is, wherever this is. <laughs> I, uh, well, I'm used to not calling any one place home, but I would rather not like to call this place home for the rest of my days. But really not so bad. You might get used to it. You seem rather young. How long have you been here, huh? I don't know. As long as I can remember. I've had so many birthdays, but I don't ever seem to get any older. Ah. That is so... Comforting, Anya. That that is that is so that is so great to hear. You I'm will glad. always have your 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 purity, your your childlike uh, 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 wh whimsy, wonder. Um, uh, uh, you, 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 mm, you know what, Anya? Uh, I am not. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing very good at the whole t -t talking thing <laughs> right now. Um, <laughs> Um, it's, uh, it's okay, you'll just... She stops talking and her face sinks, and she looks as you pass a corridor. And she kind of looks down, and she moves a little bit closer to you. Can everybody please roll me a perception check? I thought you were about to say initiative. I was like, with, Jesus. <laughs> with dread. <laughs> We've been through so much. I was like, no way. No way, it's a corridor fight. Hey. 15. Yeah. You guys are using the uh, the blinky thing. I'll use it as well. That'll be a 16 for me. All right. Oh, wait. I rolled initiative by accident. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try that again. Off. <laughs> Only Clovis fights. Everyone else can just hear it. All right. Well, good fight luck. the Ooh. child. Hallway fight. With the nasty 21, though. There you go. Cleric perks. Yeah. All right, uh, so Zir, you are just a little bit too rattled from yeah, taking I'm, a hammer the I'm size of your body heavily. to your chest. <laughs> um, and Bosric, you're close enough to the back of the pack that you're not near the corridor, but Missouri, Clovis, and Quedon, as you pass that corridor, you hear just kind of at the edge of your vision Very low heartbeat. I'm gonna look down. I have, with my vision, I should have no problem. <laughs> what is uh, do the I corridor? See? The corridor seems to go on for hundreds of feet more, hundreds and of it feet? does terminate in darkness. But you, as someone, and we're heading, we're heading this... towards the heartbeat. No, uh, so you're oh. walking this way. Cool. Like this, the heartbeat is like that. Okay, side corridor. Yeah. Sure, sure. Um, and you you notice also, um, I'll say with that 21, Clovis, even where you are, you notice this. And uh, Missouri, because you're right next to her, you would notice this too. As you walk past that corridor, Emilia grabs onto that um, holy symbol. She's wearing a little tighter. What is that sound? There's something we coming from know. that direction. We don't go that deep into the mines. It is forbidden. There is an evil there. And we are forbidden to go near it. Who's forbidden it? The goddess. The lady.
I think uh, standing next to Clovis, uh, Zir, you would hear that uh, to try and calm himself down, Clovis relies on his unending dorkdom and has gone into like full city planner mode. Like, the architecture of these tunnels is really rather interesting. Um, to be so far underground and continue to support all of the city above, this is really... Um, and just kind of goes cold as this like sound enters his ear, but he doesn't say anything about it. Um, it just continues rambling on about <laughs> random city planning bullshit. Um, real quick, because this was going to happen before we, we jumped in. Uh, uh, Mazura, specifically because of your connection to fear, fear isn't something you feel often. But as you look down that corridor and try to perceive it, something grabs your heart in that kind of icy cold of like this is this is something that you need to be afraid of like like a deer looking into the eyes of a wolf oddly i'm gonna shuffle a little bit further away from that area and i'm gonna move the child a little bit behind me as we walk path uh, past that uh, hallway Dimitri buries his face fully into your back. I While I have... Pathway. Go ahead, Quita. I was just going to say, while I have, like, gone semi-nonverbal, especially after hearing what I, like... Like, me and Anya in posture and, like innocence slash fear levels are probably fairly identical at the moment. I have fully shrunken myself down <laughs> at, like, I, I, I'm just giving so much help me energy. <laughs> um, and so, like, I'm, I'm not speaking much, but I am definitely, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining something from the presence of this small being <laughs> walking besides me. Um, Anya pauses for a little while longer and then kind of shakes her head and catches up with you. Um, so let's So I didn't, ahead. I didn't see, I didn't perceive the heartbeat, but I did, from my position I could see everyone reacting to something, right? Yeah. Okay, so I did at least get clock what they were, what they're, what happened with them. Cool. Okay. That's on. Okay. Um, let's check in with Clovis and Seer since one of you heard it and one of you did not. Uh, but Zir, for... you would have clocked that everyone's freaking out. Uh, and I think for Boz's sake, Clovis would have, when he started to hear it, visibly looked in the direction of it and then kind of shrunk in the hallway against the opposite wall um, as like a pretty clear indication that like, nope, not, don't want to investigate that. You touch the wall? Probably. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um, as you touch the wall, you feel the wall, something on the wall, just really fast move away as you touch it. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> I hope you didn't have anything to say, Zir. Uh, is <laughs> is gonna fully recoil opposite way probably bumping into you and like going for his shield. Buzz! 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 <laughs> what now? Uh, I'm like pulling my shield off. Something on the walls. Something on the walls. I will examine the walls. <laughs> I, um, I mean, obviously walking to do so, but I will take a quick... Would that be perception or investigation? I'm not going to make you roll anything because if you use the light, um, you see net massive root networks going across the wall and you see the roots kind of waving like this and you see a hole near where Clovis was and after a few seconds a root comes back out and sits back where it was and the uh, mm. the man next to you Bosric says don't touch the walls they don't like it Clearly. thank you for the heads up I just like I'm silently just like <laughs> just like like quietly repeatedly giggling to myself. 
mycelium. Yeah. yeah? Is that what this is? Seer says from the ground standing up. <laughs> from the front, um, Missouri, you can see like the half grin on Amelia's face. It's marked less. Well, my siblings know plant stuff. I guess mushrooms aren't plants. Fungi stuff. Far from it. Mushroom are fascinating, are they not? So intelligent for something so simple. Okay, but that wasn't the only thing that was scary. What else is happening right now? <laughs> and Seer looks at Clovis <laughs> like, um, I'm on the ground. <laughs> uh, I'll help you up. Thanks. Sorry, there's uh, um, down that way. There's a, you know. Uh-huh. It's a. It, it's um not not important just just forward great <laughs> and zero will keep forward and i think you can tell that she's like leaning closer to you because she's like this guy's losing it <laughs> I, need, I need to keep this guy sane <laughs> so um moving to the back of the pack um the gentleman walking next kind of behind you boz so i was um, i was gonna be at the absolute back like, someone will. Someone would have moved behind you with a lantern. Oh, what? need to have light at the beginning and end of the train. Those oh. are the rules. Fair enough. So you will. Uh, he kind of. Uh, he has a smaller version of the weapons the others have, which I'll just. I'm gonna stop being, you know, mysterious. He he has a pistol. He kind of taps your tabard with it. You serve in the guard. Vermilion Vigil at a Falcon Watch. Uh, serving the Telrunia family. And I'm guessing What's the words been... I don't recognize? I recognize Telrunia. A noble family. Really? Huh. I'm from uh, Rovania myself, and he uh, kind of oh. brushes aside his hair, and you can see this is not a human, this is an elf. Oh! Huh. Hey, I elf, what elf would I know? You can't tell. Hmm. Uh, the... Uh, being in this realm for a long time has taken away any distinguishing features that he has. Interesting. Well, uh, Vermilion Vigil uh, is a... I mean, it will be technical. We're basically a private security force, but, you know, ready to help with the legitimate law whenever we can. Um, yeah. The Falcon... Um, I'm a watch captain. You came with powerful friends. I came with powerful people I happen to be walking through the woods with. I mean, the only one I've ever met before is... Well, I suppose saying the scared cleric is kind of a misnomer now. The half-elf one. I met him once. Interesting. You notice that as he's walking, um, this guy hasn't taken his eyes off of Missouri's back. How did you meet that one? Uh, he rode up on a very strange goat. I don't know what it is that brought us all together. But whatever it is, made very sure that we ended up that way. And apparently now ended up here. It's been a rough month. For a lot of reasons. Well, thankfully we're almost out of these blasted tunnels. I hate the smell down here. And after some time... You do, in fact, find yourselves out of these blasted tunnels. Give me just one second. Zero will, Zero will lean over to Clovis and... Did... Did Bosric say he knew who I was? He didn't, right? What? Uh, sorry. Were you listening? Oh, you probably weren't 
Never mind. Uh, no, yes, I these was. It's just are architecturally sound. <laughs> you know. No, I was listening. I just work. I, I like the, the tight spaces. Of, that's. I don't. Outside is bad. Um, mm. so I just. I was listening. Um, I don't think so. I, I think. Um, I I've been on caravans before, and so uh, Balzard and I have actually we've met. I'm guessing he was talking about me. Okay, great. That's good. And <laughs> Sir <Sarah> just smiles. <laughs> should should he? No. Nope. No, not at all. <laughs> I don't have the brain space to interrogate that. Great. <laughs> I don't. So... I don't have the physical state to handle interrogations. <laughs> <laughs> As you are walking up, um, you come to another wall, and you see Emilia reach up and pull a lever, which slides away a piece of the wall, and you all exit into this very nice uh, boarding house. Um, There are tables with um, place settings, lit candles, and a little bit of food. Um, The food all looks to be like salted things and breads and things that probably wouldn't go bad if you left them for a little while. and she makes sure that all of you make it out, and she pushes another button, and a cask closes. As you look out the windows here, because you can kind of see out of the windows, you see the world outside. It's still dark. You can't see any sign of the creatures. But you also see about a 15-foot ditch surrounding the perimeter of this tavern. Um, Amelia takes a step in, sighs, sets her rifle against the fireplace, and says, Make yourselves comfortable. We can make you something to eat. There are beds there, there, and there. Take your rest. You look like you all need it. When you wake up, I... I have something that might help you. DM is the is our level five powers and things already in effect? Not yet. Thank you. Oh. Can I can I ask a quick question? Of course. Um, you said there were five groups before us. Am I counting? Yes, five groups at least since I've been here. And what happened to them? different things some of them died some of them have joined us some of them and she points to the window joined them the strongest of them became something else but that's not my story to tell do you uh do you have a watch system in place I'd be happy to uh assist in that We do. Gregor! And the man who is walking next to you just nods. I'll take him, mistress. You can stay up with me for a few hours, take the first watch, then get some rest yourself. Sounds good. I'm relatively still good for a fight. He, uh, taps your crossbow. You want to good with that? Eh. Better with this, and I pat my sword, but, eh. I hit, I miss. He, uh, kind of reaches down at where you keep your bolts and he looks at them. You won't do any good with those. Come with me. And he takes you into a back room and, uh, starts rummaging around and he comes back with a small, um, case of ten bolts and he says, You'll want these. Uh, you have now ten silver-tipped crossbow bolts. Ooh. Nice. While this is happening, I'm doing minor illusion. I'm using minor, minor illusion and uh, mage hand to kind of entertain uh, Dimitri. Uh, Dimitri is 
absolutely loving it for about five minutes, and then he... I'm gonna take my glasses off to get the full effect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get some get some rest, little one. Um, a woman walks up, and she just kind of nods to you with a smile and just puts her arms around Dimitri. Come on, Dimitri, let's go. Mati, I want to see another trick. The nice man is showing me tricks. I know, Dimitri. The nice man will be here in the morning. And she gives you a smile and kind of walks Dimitri away. Uh, DM, what's the what's the rooming situation looking like? I'm I'm seeing on the map here, but like, are we all in separate rooms? Are we like? There isn't an assigned room. Um, mm -hmm. this is just the first floor of the tavern. The tavern is actually like three floors. What? This is just to give you like a general outlay. Um, you sure. just take a free bed. Great. Um, silverchip bolts don't seem to be in existing. Uh, it's things. just. Just remember that you have them and let me know when you're firing them. Will do. Uh, because there are certain things that are resistant to non-silver damage. Like, oh, I don't know the uh, werewolves you were fighting last time. <laughs> would definitely make sense. I, um... Is Anya still, like, near mm -hmm. me? Uh, when she saw Dimitri leave, she would get up and uh, she kind of, you know, gives you a nod and then makes her way off. Yeah, I just, like, grumble something about her choosing the more depressing party member. <laughs> like... <laughs> As um... they all lay down, I'm gonna find the darkest corner that's the most isolated, and I'm gonna gonna curl up there okay um as you do um amelia kind of actually walks up and like pops the back of your head very gently but in that mother layer of like get somewhere comfortable you've had a long journey you have a long one ahead of you and she points to one of the rooms uh that she she can understand that you want some alone time so she points to one of the rooms that only has like one or two beds Okay, I'll go in there. I'll take the bed closest to the wall. Okay. Um, after that, um, Amelia actually walks up to Zir and says, My dear, you are very injured. You don't want to sleep on this. The bones will settle wrong. Do you mind? I'll, I'll sleep wherever. Um, she um, reaches just, out and, and she, she puts a... Sorry, go ahead. She'll quietly, like... Cause she'll like look around to see if any of the people that <laughs> she's traveling with are listening and I just can't sleep by myself. Uh, I'd like to be in a room with others. If that's okay. Of course, but first, I... She reaches out and puts a hand on your chest and closes her eyes, and then she starts to whisper What languages do you speak? I speak common, sylvan, and thieves can't. Okay, in a language you do not understand. Nice. Um, and her hand starts to glow white. And uh, she is going to cast a fifth level cure wounds on you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amelia got hands <laughs> of uh, the magical you, variety. <laughs> you will heal 23 hit points. Thank you, ma'am. And you noticed that she was clutching her uh, symbol, which also glowed when she touched you. Um, we'll talk tomorrow about that, because I spoke to someone who had that symbol before we came here. Interesting. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but I'm going to go to bed <laughs> first. <laughs> Thank you. She nods. Um, and then uh, she uh, makes her way over to Bosric and Ready? clicks down the lever. Well, don't call me that. <laughs> Emilia is fine. I appreciate it. It's, it's very kind, but... That was strange. Apologies. I'm only a noble woman by means of I've been here the longest. That's often how nobles get to be. 
If anything, I am a high priestess. But uh, tonight, I will take watch with you. So that's everyone but Clovis. Clovis, what are you doing? Um, I think... We'll make a note that I am clocking wherever Clovis is going to sleep as I will be sleeping nearby there. So I can keep an eye and make sure he's okay. But yeah, I'll go ahead and take the first one. Okay. I think settled in this big building with a bunch of people around... Clovis's fear sort of ebbs down to to you know just the corners and he's able to relax himself a little bit more and I think more of his cleric training comes back I think he he's looking for Quedon okay um and Zir do you go to a room with like a lot of people or do you go to the room with Missouri since Missouri is the one you recognize um, I would go to wherever the most people are sleeping. Okay, so that's probably the room where Dimitri and Anya went. Yes, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, because she's she's looking for like a, a sibling <laughs> presence. Mm -hmm. She has not slept alone in a room ever in her life. Um, Dimitri is like already asleep when you get in there, but Anya is so excited to not only have someone who looks close to her age, because she looks about maybe 14. Oh, cool. Um, but also another girl. Yeah. Um, she's just so jazzed. Uh, she kind of like pats the bed that's closest to her. You, you, you can sleep here, miss. Cool. I'll do that. Slumber party. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Clovis, you're going to go find Queden. But before mm -hmm. that happens, um, actually, no, because what I want to do is later in the evening. So you go ahead and find Queden. Um, Queden, did you make yourself difficult to find? Or would he have been able to see No, I mean, I would have found a room to just, like, be by myself for, like, a couple minutes. You know, made some jots down in my journal. I, I think I would be in, in one of the more solitary bedrooms, but... Okay. Um, yeah. I He would have seen where I went, so I wouldn't mm. know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I think Clovis approaches the door and thinks to just walk straight through, but then kind of pauses himself and, like, does that, like, knock on, like, the door frame... Mm -hmm. Only. <laughs> I um. Yeah, I I open it. I don't say a word. It is. It's obvious. Like my eyes are a bit watered. Hmm. Quite an evening. Quite. If. Would you like to come inside? I don't, I, I, In the mood for some company, if you don't mind. Hmm. Of course, I. I often, well, I put up my walls, but company is important. Hmm. Strange creatures and falling mushroom mist tends to uh, break those down. I find. I mean, this is the yes. this is first time I've, that I've ever experienced either one of those things, but um, from my one time. It's pretty strange. Hmm. I have seen many a strange thing. Hmm. Um, thank you for... Uh, I, I don't know how characteristic it is of you, Clovis, but you did for a moment give me the courage I needed to be the cleric that I should be. <laughs> um, well, first time for everything, I guess. Um, I'm more of a book guy. Um, not really the go out and do the cl cleric -y stuff. Um, well, I didn't I... do it by choice, so I feel similar. Yeah. Is that why you ran? You're more comfort. You find more comfort in your books. Um, I find more more comfort um, behind walls, indoors. Uh, the woods is um, never a, a place I would have gone by choice. But uh, Stendar calls you by name. You don't have much of an option. <laughs> Out of options. Oh, how much I relate to that. <laughs> theme for uh, our profession, I suppose.
Clovis, you would recognize the symbol that Quedon wears, I think, most prominently. Because Quedon does wear several holy symbols, but I think the one that he wears most prominently is the symbol of Zarakis, the Death God. Mm. And I don't know if you knew that that's who he served, but you would recognize that symbol now. Yeah, I think seeing his power may have gotten an inkling. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I think seeing the symbol would be the, the confirmation. Yeah. Um, uh, Clovis is going to kind of take a seat on the the nearby bed. Um, you um, seem to have uh, gotten as shaken up out there as I did. Um, <laughs> that's that's a term for it. Would that be on account of the um, lupine nature? those things what give you that impression uh, the big medallion around your neck <laughs> oh, well perhaps a a good and worthy cleric would feel comfort in his <laughs> deity's chosen form My deity is a big tortoise with a city on his back. I've never told anyone at the cloister this, but it's the silliest thing I could possibly imagine. <laughs> Lovis, I am devoted to my faith. I would do anything for Zarakis, for, for him, as would you, no doubt, to yours. And I get, uh, I, 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 I would have started walking and like taken a sit, uh, next to him, like as as I've been saying this, and I just like get a little bit close. I say, but that doesn't mean that I'm not terrified of what he can do. Hell, what I can do. Did you you see that out there? You see me kill that thing? You saw that, right? The, the, the... I did. <laughs> I... I didn't do shit. You, you saw that? I, I didn't swing. I did It was him. He took the choice right out of my fucking hands because he knows that I can't be trusted to kill. <laughs> And here I am on some holier-than-thou mission to to save from the mist. I, I have to appear like I know what I'm fucking talking about. It's I, out there against those things. I am. I am. I am hopeless. I. It's like. It's like a a, a cruel a, a, a cruel a, a, a cruel test. Quentin, can I tell you a secret? I suppose. Out there, when we were running away, that was the first time I'd ever successfully cast a spell. I've, like I said, um, I'm a book guy. Um, there are a lot of reasons for that. Um, but a big one is cowardice has sort of been my MO for uh, quite a while. I, When it came to combat trials, the idea of going out into the wilderness and spreading the, the word of Stendar, I... I that's not for me. You know, all of this, it's the adventuring thing. I didn't want to do any of this either. Stendar is the god of walls, of civilization, of order. That's where I'm supposed to be. And he called me into the wilderness to fight a bunch of smelly dogs. And 
watch a bunch of people almost die, because he seems to think that this is what's more important for me, and there were plenty of monks at the cloister. I don't I don't know why he chose me for this. I, you're not supposed to take an angry tone with your deity, but I certainly did try to get him to change his mind. But here I am with all of you. So I understand how you feel. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing either. But if it helps, there are people here who need us. And I know that that's scary. Trust me, it, this is the first time anyone's ever relied on me for anything other than, you know, <laughs> scribing notes. <laughs> but our gods put us here for a reason. You know? And I'll be here to make sure you don't do anything stupid. And hopefully you'll be here to make sure that I don't do anything stupid. And, um, you know, maybe together we can figure out how this works and uh, convince everybody else that we're not just stumbling around in the dark, two scared children. Two bumbling clerics may make a hero. <laughs> <laughs> we can hope. All right. That is... No, please go ahead. It is kind. Um, Clovis, I don't know if you can tell by the everything about me, but I am not much of the friend-making type either. I noticed, yeah. Yeah, you, though, you, you saw a piece of me out there that I do not often show. So, uh, your, uh... <laughs> Friendship is comforting. Thank you. So while this is going on, uh, Mazura, I think that you have found yourself in a fitful sleep because you're used to having nightmares. You're used to having something. This is the first time that your your sleep feels uninterrupted. It's almost discomforting in its comfort. And then at the edge of your hearing, somewhere within the conscious and subconscious mind, you. Wetting yourselves with the feelings of cattle. To form Uh, I think that would jolt me awake, actually. <clears throat> I was, <clears throat> excuse me, for the first time in a peaceful sleep. The, just the grumbling of uh, dealing with cattle would probably burst me awake. Looking around for some darkness <laughs> to hide in. <laughs> um, So you're hiding in the dark here? You're like pulling yourself back into the dark? Yeah, that's, um, I pull myself back into the darkness and kind of hold my sensor like I'm ready to attack, just kind of looking outward and then also at times rolling my eyes and, uh, inward, uh, trying to find the source of the, uh, the voice. Because normally there'd be a lot more things going on and then the voice would happen, so it would probably sound much different in a completely peaceful, non, uh, <laughs> noisy environment. So um, I wouldn't be entirely used to it. So as this is happening, you kind of... The room that you're in is very dark. There are no lights in this room. But the dark seems to be moving like the surface of water. And you could just make out a shape of a vaguely humanoid person standing in the corner of the room. You are so close now. So close to being ready. Who are the cattle? And what are you trying to get me ready for? And at this point, 
the sensor's already starting to, it's swinging, but it's not over my head, but in my hand, it's being swung to the side in a small arc. Do you miss him, Missouri? Your I drop the sensor. <laughs> and I'll I'll lean towards the being. Bring him back. He wasn't meant to die. Mazura. You don't need me for that. Bring him back yourself. I have given you all the tools you need. If you want him, pull him from the darkness. You know how. What level am I at this particular second? Still third. Um, I will again just... Uh... My eyes will just spark, and the again that smoke will ride down the uh, the chain towards the sensor. And as it about to ignite, I just snatch it up and grab it and start spinning. Um, if there's anybody in the nearby, they would hear the the chain going like as I'm spinning it. Um, and uh, after some concentration and uh, the proper amount of time. Uh, my beautiful goat um, uh, will uh, would probably uh, start to reform from the darkness. Uh, so the goat steps out and kind of shakes its head. It's back in that terrifying visage. And it looks at you and it kind of this almost serpent-like tongue kind of lulls out of its mouth and goes back in. And then it cocks its head over to the figure in the darkness. And then it just gently pads over the darkness starts to stroke the goat's fur. But you can feel, even without eyes, its eyes are still on you. Mm. You are so close. Now. Wake up. And it snaps its fingers, and you realize you've been in a nightmare the entire time. So peace is my nightmare. Good stuff. <laughs> Uh, I would just awaken with a start and looking around would just reach probably the six to eight inches it is for my weapon and then just brandish one of my daggers and just kind of keep a scan of the room. Just now I'd be actively listening for anything going on in the nearby vicinity. Um, as you scan the room, you see something in the room that wasn't there before. Curled up on the ground with its head on a pair of crossed lupine paws. He's your goat. So I'll reach down and kind of stroke the head like this. Mm -hmm. It stretches kind of cat like in its stretch, which is very unsettling with the goat like body. <laughs> and it yawns and then that snake like tongue lulls out again. I thought you were dead. No. Die. We are bound together. If you live, so do I. Well, I'm sorry to put you through that. Um. <sighs> How will, uh, I just realized we're going to have to explain how you appeared to at least one child. I am speaking common right now, so... <clears throat> the children may not understand, but... Do I wear a different face for the little one, or do I stay? Wear the face, they're not ready yet. And it kind of shakes its head, and so, the shadows coalesce on the skull. And at the as you command, um, I'll say, no, as I ask, we're in this together. Whatever you like, Mazora. 
What is... What is your name? It kind of, like, thinks for a minute. We do not have one. We are formless. Give us one. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it has no um, uh, gender. I'm assuming at this point. Um, no, it does not. <clears throat> so I'll say, uh, <sighs> we'll come up with something better later. But right now, we'll just call you uh, Mary. I think we can leave the night. I th yeah, we could leave the night part off. You and I'll know. And then, as you hear more names as we travel, we'll work together on giving you a proper name, one that you feel. <laughs> Their fear. I smell it on all of them. It's different with each one, but I smell it. But this place, this place reeks of fear. Fear is in the very bones of this world. Then we should we do quite well. have such power here. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, it should be should be interesting to see what we do. Father will Well, always remember something. It's children's right to rebel against their fathers, so we can have fun. He just smiles at that in a way that I don't know, it might unsettle you a little bit. And then he just kind of shakes his head. Just look at him and back. just go from smiling to... <laughs> okay. All right. And that uh, will when I, us... Well, I'm going to ask him, when I go back to sleep, are you, will you be gone again? Yes. But now you know how to call me. And I will come when you need me. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. And I'm patting, like, on the neck, like it's, like, I'm sure it gets, it, you know, Mary here can tell that I am actually grateful and happy that yeah. she's returned. And with that, I'll get back into the, the bed, and I'm still holding, like, the, the dagger in the one hand. <laughs> And I'm just going to just nicely place it within quick grabbing range and I'll just lull back off to sleep if I don't hear anything else going on. No, you don't. Yep, then it's a nighty night for me. All right. Does anyone else have anything they want to do over the evening? Just take my watch unless someone talks to me. With the exception of uh, what the guy said ahead of time, he doesn't really talk much. Can you give a clarification question? Uh, just because it might affect the boss. Um, do elves do the four-hour meditation, or do they actually sleep? They do the four-hour meditation, yeah. Okay, I don't know how long Boz would be up for watch, but when Clovis is up in four hours, if you're awake, he would he would approach to talk to you. Um, you might pass me on my way back, on my way to bed then. Okay. Um, in passing then, uh, Clovis would say, Boss? Hello? Um, uh, quick, quick question, Boss. Um, do you, how much do you remember of 
that caravan trip we were both on? Uh, it's not that long ago. I remember it pretty well. We got attacked by those four horsemen, which look. I look to the room where Zir is. I'm reasonably sure we've now met one of them out of the the mask. Oh, you see, she was saying something earlier, and I didn't quite. That makes sense. Um, not what I was talking about at all. Uh, there was a. I was in the caravan. And I had drawn the window shades because whatever you guys were doing out there did not want to be a part of it. Um, but I heard a noise. And it was a very strange noise. It was like a... Woom, 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 sort of... It was like a swingy sort of... Like a centripetal sort of... You, did you know what I'm talking about? Um, I think I heard some of the... I was a little busy, but I heard... A little? Snatches, maybe? Earlier, when we were outside and all the bad things were happening, I heard it again. And I wasn't really super present. But I just you seem like the kind of guy that would want me to give you that information, so I'm giving it to you. I don't know what exactly to well, do with it. By means of process of elimination, it did, now thinking about it, it did sound a bit like our shady friends, but they know each other, so it stands to reason perhaps they worked together before, what, 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 maybe he was there but we couldn't see him. My, mm. my thoughts on the whole thing is, anything that happened since we are apparently now not in Ravania anymore, really doesn't matter as much as staying alive and so long as they don't you know actively raise a knife to stab me in the back i'm willing to let one failed raid on a caravan be bygones and just focus on keeping me alive keeping you alive keeping them alive ground sorry keeping alive absolutely i i don't i'm not trying to sort of bring up old thing i just you thought listen, it was relevant, which it could listen, have been. It can, listen, can boss, still be. I've, as Kui didn't confirm for me earlier, I've been doing a great job at hiding this, but I'm pretty scared. Like, just kind of all the time since we've gotten here. And you're like a big, strong guy. So I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you about the things that I know because I am very scared. And you don't seem scared. And that, I appreciate that very much. I have a healthy respect for the danger of the situation we find ourselves in. Even just uh, the way you worded that is like so much more competent than anything that would have come out of my well, mouth. I'm, yes, but I'm a trained military man. Exactly. So, you're, yeah. Yes. So yeah, I'm not trying to, I don't, I'm not pointing fingers, I don't, I'm not trying to do, I just wanted to let you know that I observed something because you seem like the kind of person that I could expect to do valuable things with that information. Incidentally, while we're on that subject, I that whole out there with the with the with the feral lichen thingy, whatever they were. Mm -hmm. Allow me, may I give a, a few words of advice? Running, Absolutely. Running is sometimes a good thing, but don't run scared. Run with purpose. Now, I, as you said, am a big military fellow. If we run into trouble again, stay behind me. Listen for what I tell you. There may come a time when you may have to run, but it's better to run with purpose. Um, thank you for that. I, I did need to hear that. I frankly didn't know there was a difference in how you ran. Oh, oh that, there does, is that makes sense. Of, there are plenty of ways to run. There's running scared, there's running panicked, there's running mm -hmm. with purpose, there's retreating, which is charging in the opposite direction. Right. I don't typically do much running anyway, and the times that I have, it has just been the one way. Um, but I'll keep that in mind. That being said, if you could just sort of remind me when a big scary thing happens that, like, we're fine, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm the guy who hid in, inside of the box in the caravan. That, that was this pretty is new, smart for you to do to me. 
Yeah. Thank you. I just, I think I need a little bit of guidance, but I do, uh, I, I do want do to help. I do want incidentally, to help. Incidentally, that smash against the wall, great energy, I liked it. But be a lot more effective once I teach you something called flanking. What is... We'll get to that. Okay. Right now, all right, all right. I've had my watch. I'm starting to run on fumes. I need some sleep. Understood. I'm gonna sort of just keep an eye. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I trust everyone else here. I. I'll try to avoid waking you up, but know that if I see something suspicious, I'll. If if the need arises, by all means, wake me up. I'll use my best judgment. That's all I can ask. That feels wrong. I'm not a... I'm it's fine. Gonna it's stop. fine. I'm stop. Okay. It's fine. Cool. Uh, don't worry. All right. I mean, that's not the one we use in the uh, in the Vermilion Vigil, so it's, it's fine. It's not... Oh, I read it in a book, and I thought... Sorry, no, I thought that's, that was a cool that's, thing. That one's, that one's pretty catch-all for lots of military outfits. The, the Vigil has its own specific one, so... Yeah, go, go right ahead. Okay. I'm going to go this way now. I'm going to go uh, get some shout out. Yes. Good rest. And before I go to bed, I'll actually pull my sword, which I actually have. Bosric's sword. Nice. And um, I will look at it and go... Getting the feeling that... Uh, forgive the pun, but you're not going to cut it for long, friend. May have to trade you in soon. What's the and then I will go to bed with the sword, with the sword in hand. All right, um, Clovis, what is your passive perception? Seventeen. Great. Can you roll a wisdom save for me? Oh, I should have set a lower number. Um, oh shit, I I rolled physically. Do you want me to use that? That's fine, yeah. Okay. Uh, wisdom save. That is a 26. Okay. Fantastic. So the night goes by without incident. <laughs> <laughs> and you wake up the next morning. Um... Clovis, you were probably the first awake. Missouri, you were probably the second. Um, and it seems like Lady Thane did not sleep through the night at all. Um, as you wake up, she is still in her long black kind of formal dress, and she is setting out plates for everyone. And she says, ah, good, all of you are awake. Come, and sit. We have much to discuss. <clears throat> like a proper military man, I will quickly make my bed before uh, the minute I wake up, and then go out, and then. All right. I'll approach the table, uh, sit down, and then I'll take my uh, obviously my daggers off and put them on the floor, not to be armed at the table, and just sit stoically, just. Deadpan. Uh, the the I'll say the uh, the dark under my eyes uh, is a little bit darker. <laughs> uh, the the bags are just a little bit bigger. <laughs> um. Okay. Cool. Do the rest of you sit at the table? All right. So uh, the you have the time we get all the answers. Better to give you answers when you're rested and more able to listen. But at least you get good food. Mm, I'll take it. And it is, it's good food. It's like scrambled eggs, bacon. Like. Oh, I'm a vegan? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> Um, so as you're Fear eating... Nightmare Warlock, but that, that is your greatest crime. <laughs> as you're eating, she says, so what is, uh... You'll have questions, I'm sure. Now is the best time to answer them. Your, um... You say you did not come as a unit, but... 
Mazura was your name, yes. I think. You yes. protected Zir like she is your child. You don't look anything alike. Are you, uh... Did you adopt her? No, it was just a child making a foolish mistake and me trying to correct that mistake. You still haven't convinced me you haven't adopted her, she says with a smile. No, I have Clearly we have... And looking at Zir, I'm going to be like, we've worked together before. Not and to my knowledge. No, you wouldn't have any. I don't... Let's be clear. I don't know who this man is. I've seen him around. And I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. No adoption necessary. Can we, to that, can we move on to more important questions? <laughs> to that, I will say the gray disappears. The, the, the gray disagrees. Harboring secrets. What a great way to make a group of new friends. Um, information can be shared when information's wanted. She's not ready to accept the information, therefore it's pointless to share. That was a lot of words to say the thing that I just said. Um, uh, so, <laughs> Zero uh, laughs. Look, well, if you're going not to survive to here. sound not to sound ungrateful, but we were sent on a mission specific to our lands. I understand that we're not there now, but do you know anything about the mists, about our troubles, about how we might get back to it? Well, judging from the amulet that you wear, the shield that he carries, in the mention of Grey Matron, I assume that you are from the Wilderglade plane? But let me yes. guess, you were sent here on the holy quest by your gods. Some of us. Doesn't sound like a new story. The entity that runs this place, whatever it is, will use any face to draw in potential recruits. You are not here because you have a mission. You are here because you are special. You are here because you would not be killed. We so seem we pretty close to being killed by those things. Killed by... Sounds like something from our home. We were probably brought here to die since we refused to die there. Yeah. The mists. It's not a mist. No more than the snow that falls on our land is snow. It is a test. Sent out every once in a while into a plane to find powerful people. Interesting people. Unique people. Each of you has something that Well, I don't know who it is, but whatever it is that lives here, it, you have something that it wants. Your gods may you have must. sent you here, but you would not have crossed the threshold without its permission. So, who was the person that I talked to with your amulet? Religious symbol? The entity that runs this place probably uses our image to try and draw people in. We are a religious order, after all. And the dark entity would corrupt the matron's influence however it could. And well, who exactly is the matron? You've said that a couple times now. Not something that I'm familiar with. Matron Lacramora. Priestess of Lanaria. She was from your plane as well. Worshipped your goddess of life. Worshipped her and served her so well that upon her death she ascended to godhood. She discovered the threefold path. 
a way to exist in three planes at once. Lanyria blessed her with eternal life and the power to heal and give life. And whatever entity runs this place is strong enough to trap her here as well. But she keeps us safe. She gave us this place protected from all of the dangers outside. And she keeps the Dreadmasters in their holes. You saw them from the hill. The castle. The mansion. The smoke belching factory. And the poisoned lake. There are monsters there unlike anything you've ever seen. But the matron no keeps them there. Out of our village. How do we go about going home? That you will need to speak to the matron. To speak to the matron, you will need to go to her temple. And to do that, you will need to be stronger than you are. And um, she reaches uh, under the table and she pulls out what appears to be a large file. She uncorks it and you see like a black mist come out of the top. The spores are poison. But to those that they have latched onto, they can give you power, if you accept them. And she starts to pour five cups. This will give you enough strength to meet with the matron. From there, your strength must be your own. I offer you power. That is not the only way out. You can stay here, safe with us. You will be cared for. You do not have to fight. But know that if you drink this, there is no going back. I'll grab one of the cups um, and say fear is a state of mind. Just drink. We need to go. Can this mistress actually bring back my sibling? She was a high priestess of Lanyria. She can bring back anyone. Okay. Anyone. And Zero will drink. Yes, Quedon. Anyone. Whoa, Quedon, did you tell her your name? Uh, I'm I'm still just hung up on that. I'm not gonna respond <laughs> to that. Can I, I? I'm I pick up the vial. Can I make any kind of check to make sure that this isn't a trick or a trap? Or yeah, go for it. Roll a medicine check. Medicine and Missouri, roll. roll a constitution save. <laughs> I drank as well. Do you want me to roll the con? Yes, please. Jesus. That's going to be... I'll be an 18. All right. 21, baby. All right. Um, you feel your stomach start to twist in that way that, like, you think you have to throw up, but then it settles, and you feel strength return to you. And Zira, as you look up, you swear you see your sister, and I don't have my notes in front of me, I apologize, but you swear you see your sister, the, the Minotaur. Leif. Leif, thank you. Leif smiles at you says well done uh i rolled a five with the medicine it is a 12. okay yeah it just it stinks but it just smells like ale can i roll an inside check on her yeah i go don't for it. think clovis believes anything that she's saying roll an inside check uh Quedin, uh roll a con save Gotcha. I'd actually like to do the same as far as um, insight checks go. Day 15. Okay. All right. Mr. DM, sir, that is our first PC nat one of the campaign. Oh. Oof. Got a 16. Okay. With the mod, um, it's a five, but I doubt that matters. Yeah, it's with the nat one, I'm afraid that, that is a nat one. Um, yeah. Queden, you 
feel your stomach twist completely. Um, you also feel the surge of power, but the surge of power overtakes your body and you unfortunately vomit up the nice breakfast. You are poisoned until a long rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, Poison uh, upon you. <laughs> um, Clovis and Boz she seems on the level. As far as you can tell. Listen, Jesus Christ. Ma'am, I um, appreciate your hospitality and, you know, saving our skin last night. I don't have as strong of a deeply personal reason to drink your juice um so i need some more specifics on what exactly this is going to do because i don't really like the whole can't turn back aspect he um points to zir look at her she's you scruffy are... looking uh, is my you are a, something new? You are a cleric of civilization, of the turtle god. And as yes. you look at Zir, you actually do see kind of like an aura of like black energy around her. She is stronger now. I have distilled the thing that has brought you here. It will give you power over it. Allow you to utilize your strengths more effectively. In your case, it will bring you closer to your god. And how do you have the ability to do this? Because I worship the High Priestess Luneria, one of the first. Luneria is the mother of all gods. Demonstrate your faith to me and I'll drink it. How do you propose I do that? Your deity. Very well. Gregor! And a young man walks over. And she hasn't broken eye contact with you yet. He needs proof. Do you mind? Surprise trigger warning, everyone. Gun-related death. Jeez, I'm sorry, folks. That's a tough one. Thank you, Dwarf. Uh, he nods, takes out his pistol. She grabs his body as he falls. Her hand glows white. And he stands back up. No wound. Well, that's going to do it for me. Uh, and I swig it. You're good, dwarf. I did it fast. I did it fast for that reason. Apologies. Thank you. And you, Orc? Notably, Boz, ever since the glass has been poured, Boz has been laser-focused on it. Like he's been going something, over something in his head. You said we're here because we're special? Yes. A month ago, People started dying for no reason. Was it because they weren't special? Not special enough for the thing that rules this place. You lost someone close to you? He grabs the glass, does not ant resent. To the matron. Downs it. Down save? Yes. 
And Clovis, I need your con save as well. Mm -hmm. And since all of you have drunk now, now you are all level five as you feel the power. Uh, is 17 sufficient? It is. Okay. That was my roll too. Then you are sufficient. Only Queen and Pukes. I and have... notably, after after that, Thorant, he turns. He just does not address that you lost someone. It's like, we go in then. Indeed. Make your way out that door. The chapel is to the south. Be careful. The dead don't rest easy here. And I think that will be a good place for our break. We will be back in five minutes. Everybody take a deep breath. Relax. <laughs> so, you have been given a potion of power that has elevated the party to level five, which they had already done. Um, so that's why it went so quickly. Um, mm -hmm. Originally, this was intended to happen at the end of session one, and that be the button, but... We're so good at knowing what five minutes means. I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> but D&D &D is... Amazing at it. You know, D&D. &D. So, you have been pointed in the direction of the temple. You will need to leave this tavern and go south. So I'm going to reveal a bit more of the map, and I want all of you to drag yourselves out by the door, which is also the only access over the moat. Oh, that's not reveal. That's hide more. Come on, roll 20. Do what I asked you to do. There we go. Yeah, so where Zir is, that's where you all are. Nailed it. <clears throat> um, how many people are currently inside the main foray? Like in that main uh, area? Uh, probably about 20. Probably about 20? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, damn. I'll ask, uh, is there a side exit to this place? Only one way in and out. That way we can keep it safe. Hmm. Very well. And then with that, I'll actually, I'll have to walk outside. Clovis, just uh, click and drag. Like, hold it down and drag it onto the map. I super don't know where it is. Okay, it's, so... um, It's under the journal. They changed the icons on you between last session yeah. and this session, which the is sparkly book. in Dude. typical Roll20 fashion, why? so it's the little sparkly book. So nice of them. So why? nice. Why? Why? I know. To be fair, it looks a lot more like a journal now and less yeah. like a newspaper. So That's it's true. an improvement, That's but <laughs> cool. All right. So you guys make your way out. Um, and as soon as, who is the last person out? Probably I mean, would have been me. given my sickness. Oh, oh yeah, no, right. actually true. Yeah. yeah, give it, I'm, yeah, I'm not doing too hot. Okay, so you make your way out and you hear the door slam behind you and thunk, a heavy bar is placed over the door. Hmm. Fills well, you with confidence, doesn't it? It fills me with vomit, actually. Um, but yeah, that too. Can everyone roll me a perception check, please? Yeah, baby, that's a 12. Woof. Missouri is looking around. And it makes sense that Missouri and Boz are the ones that see this, because they're like... <laughs> that's just a 10, typical. All right, um, Queen, you're, you know, puking your guts out here. Um, yeah. Clovis, you're probably seeing to Queen. And Zier, I don't know why you don't see this. I'm so excited about being strong. I'm so yeah. pumped. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm strong. Wait, with now? a 21, she doesn't <laughs> see it? No, I got an 11. Oh. Oh, but, I definitely uh, scrolled up too high. Yeah. Bosric, um, you hear a sound like shifting stone and then dragging metal. 
Missouri with your natural 20. Over in this area, you also okay. hear the sound, but you see these planks shifting and standing up out of these, now that you can see, standing tombs come seven figures dressed in archaic armor, dragging swords behind them. As <clears throat> seven human soldiers, they appear to be, or humanoid soldiers, once were shuffle their way out of the graveyard, dragging long swords behind them, and you can see they are very dead, and there are mushrooms growing out of wounds on their body. And I need everyone to roll initiative. God. You gave now me the fight music that everyone can hear this week. Is it just going to be Clovis first up every single time? This is crazy. You gave me disadvantage on the one okay, combat happened? that I might have a chance. <laughs> I took alert, so in theory... Zero uh, also, in the future, guys, don't forget getting... to click on your token when you roll initiative uh, so it adds uh, you. Uh, it's okay. I can I... add you all in. So let's that is see. A... That's a 10 from me. Okay. 17. For Zir. All right. Whoops. Sorry about that. I moved you up, Bosric. Uh, Zir, you said you got a 17? 17. Taking the alert feed next time. Yeah, I did, and I still did less than Clovis. Clovis is unstoppable. <laughs> I only have a plus one, too. I, too. I know, like... you're just nailing it. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, that's... so ready to be scared. That is intense. <laughs> I'm a coward, so ready. but I'm ready. <laughs> uh, what did you get, uh, Quedon? I got a ten. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drag out an extra special one of these Sporeborn, they are called, and use them to roll their initiative. So the Sporeborn are going on a 15. That's not good. All right. So, top of the lineup, we have Clovis. <laughs> these creatures are shambling towards you. I definitely had so much time to decide what to do and then didn't do that. Um, shambling, you say? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I think... Clovis is just still kind of, like, fumbling to get all his things out, so just... Uh, go away! Uh, and I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on uh, the closest one. Okay, what's the range on Guiding Bolt? Uh, 120 feet. And they might be out of range, so you might need to move up a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll move 10 feet forward. Um, give me my pointer back. They're 130, I believe. Yes. Yeah, so move 10 feet forward and Guiding Bolt. All right. There we go. And I rolled a natural one, so that's an eight. Okay, so that will be a miss. Hit. Yeah, figures. Uh, uh, I think Clovis is just like half like pulling on his shield. He's just like, yeah, go away. Uh, just like fires a loose shot. Yeah, fair enough. All right, uh, anything else with your bonus action or the rest of your movement? No, I don't think so. All right. That will bring us to Zir. Ah, oh, um, let's see. I will move. I will give her a stern look. Don't you dare charge that far again this time. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> You're not my dad. <laughs> You're not my dad. Let's see. Wouldn't want to be if you if you behave like that. I'm gonna move over. Oh, I'm just shy. Let's question. Question. Yes. Um. So you can use 
bonus action, cunning action, as a rogue to dash, disengage, hide. Can mm-hmm. you still use an action to do one of those things? So you mm-hmm. can use your bonus action to do another one of those things? Yes. Stunning. Okay, then I will take the dash action. And I will dash shm over here. Okay. And then I will cunning action hide. All right, roll a stealth check. <laughs> Thank you. I rolled a schmeventine again. Okay, let's see if they can see you. Uh, okay, as far as you're, as far as you can tell, you're hidden. Noise. That's the turn, baby. I All lie right. and wait. That will bring us to the Sporeborn, who, after the guiding bolt and seeing a satyr kind of clip across, the, they seem to jolt up to attention and. Their limbs seem to get a sort of, like, otherworldly strength. And they start to move very fast. They start to run at you as they take the dash action. One of them does seem to have clocked you, Zier, and it is running for you, but it has broken off from the others. The others have completely missed you. Cool. I'm just going to kind of scoop these guys up here. This guy's way in the back, but he's going to scoot up too. All right. Missouri. <clears throat> Upon seeing this, um, immediately, I didn't think it would need to be so soon. And I will move down just a little, just to, just to kind of increase the distance between us. And then all of a sudden you'll hear that clanking of chains. Uh, I won't ignite it this time, then you'll just hear... And you'll hear that chain jingling a little bit, and you'll hear that noise as I uh, begin my summon. Um, okay. Nobody hears this but you, Missouri. But Missouri, in your head, you hear. Oh, All right. In my in my head, to the darkness, I'll reach out and go. You're about to have some fun. Bosric. Well, I was Bosric. No, is takes a moment to. Time to go work. Pulls out his crossbow, checks that it is a normal round, and will activate Fighting Spirit. Okay. And then I will move to just there, and I will shoot at this guy. The guy in the front? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Shot with advantage. Okay. Twelve. That will miss. <clears throat> bonus action reload, second attack. Uh, your bonus action was your fighting spear. Oh, right, yeah. So, all right, then I will... Can I spend my second attack to reload? Yes. Then I will do that. All right. Oh, hi, Kraz. Um, okay. That will bring us back to... Or no, it won't. Queedon. Yes. Pukey boy. That's me. I'm going to move forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. About there. Wait, I have to do that again. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that'll bring me here. 
And I'm going to once again bonus action shield of faith at the start. Okay. Give myself that. Awesome. And how does your shield of faith manifest? I think now that you have empowered mm -hmm. yourself, you can craft it to your whims. Uh, I think it's just like I don't know if it has any like specific, uh, especially with my, um, yeah. I I think it's just like jet black. This just like like f coming coming up from the ground in these just like almost like electric like tendrils, just like fully engulfing me in black for a moment before I'm like visible once again um okay. something along those lines i like it and i am going to follow in clovis's footsteps i'm going to cast a second level guiding bolt towards let's see 120 that'll that's fine uh let's just do this this guy right in the middle here closest to my to the front of my so this one here of my range uh actually let's let's do that towards the one approaching uh that's zero over here right ah uh, yeah yeah let's 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 go for that one i'm gonna make this a little easier i'm gonna put uh dots on them cool I am rolling with disadvantage, so here we go. Sheesh. Uh, okay, first. First roll is a 23. Let's hope the next one isn't too low. Hey, that'll do it. That's a 22 then. That will hit. And you're going Great. for uh, pink and purple here? The one going after Zier? Yes. Awesome. All right, casting. That'll be making sure that's second level. It'll be twenty-two points of damage. All right. Uh, so the uh, the bolt leaves your hand, and it crashes into this creature, and it leaves like a smoking hole in the thing's body, but it doesn't seem to have slowed it down. You've definitely done damage. But the yeah. nature of this creature has not slowed it down. Yeah. Pull some undead bullshit. <laughs> they do do that. But that will bring us back to the top of the lineup with Clovis. Not slowing them down, you say? Um, <laughs> Clovis is still trying to get his shield off of his back and sees them running at him. He's like, nope, nope, no. Uh, and I'm going to cast slow. Okay. Uh, so, they must all succeed on wisdom saving throws. Uh, total of six, so I guess I'll get that big cluster um, in the sort of center there. One, two, three, four, five. All except the pink and purple one. Okay. Um, I believe in order to reach them, I need to move like ten feet forward again. To get sort of... Oh, no, I didn't need to, so I won't. Look, so wisdom saves? Yes. All right. What DCD is... 15. 15? Okay. So blue... Passes. Darn. Orange... Fails. Snail. <laughs> Green... Fails. Yellow fails. Yes. Ah, come on, guys. No, this is fine. I I want you guys to win. You you got you got hurt last time. Uh, pink succeeds, and purple fails. Yeah. All right. So four out of six. Not bad. Two thirds. Yeah. Ah. That was good. 
Um, um, so, how does slow manifest? Uh, I think Clovis is still trying to get his shield. He's just like, stop! Um, and all of them, uh, I think <laughs> sort of spectral, big, heavy tortoise shells appear and, like, enwrap their torsos, sort of dragging them towards the ground. I like it. their movement. All right. Get turtled. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Clonus looks just as surprised by anyone else that this has actually happened. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Any bonus action? Nope. All right. Zier. I'm gonna I'm gonna free action just let's fucking go like <laughs> <laughs> very good. Um, so the only one that actually spotted me in my hide was the pink purple here. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so I will kind of lean from my little corner that I'm at, um, noticing that this guy who's closest to the group is not turtled. Um, and I will take a shot at him with my short bow. And I believe since I'm hidden, I have advantage. Yes. Yeehaw. Okay. That is a 21 to hit. That'll hit. That does an initial. Oh, I think it rolled. Did it roll the? Hello? It rolled a sneak attack, yeah. Oh, it did? Automatically? Mm -hmm. How wonderful. All right. And then, since I sneak attacked, I'm going to use my special ability. Okay. Called Whales from the Grave. And I assume, okay, so I've got Leif kind of, I saw them for a moment, um, and I think, uh, I would kind of whisper, because I've always kind of had this like spiritual, I've heard some whisperings my whole life, but I think I'd try to tap into it for the first time like ever before and be like, okay, like, um, I'm gonna get you back, uh, but I gotta protect these guys first. Um, can you help? And I would do my wheels from the cave damage target a second creature that I can see within 30 feet. I'll target that one that's coming at me. Okay. Pink and purple, and that'll be 2d6 necrotic. So six necrotic damage to this man that Leif has orchestrated for me. Okay. Um, so you see Leif um, come around the corner and just lower her head and slam into this creature and keep going through. I shiver a little bit. It freaked me out. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like she connected. Hmm. Understood. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, that will make it their turn. Uh, so this guy is going to go ahead and he's going to dash. To right there. These guys are also going to dash, but they're only going to dash half their speed because they are laden by turtle. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy is not. One, two, three. And this guy is one, two, three, four, five, six. But he saw you come out, so he's going to kind of help his friend. This guy is going to go here, and he's going to kind of like lurching forward, take that sword in both of his hands, and he's going to try and take a swing at you, Zir. Cool. Dark Souls. <laughs> so the first one is a twenty-two. Yep. All right. <laughs> really, Dark Souls. So that is four slashing damage. Okay. That's much and, better than yeah. a single KO. <laughs> but he does <laughs> have another happened. attack. So he's coming sure. for his second attack. Okay. Which will be a natural one. Uh, as he swings, he goes to swing back, and it seems like something is stopping his sword. He can't see it. No one can see it. But you can see Leif has grabbed his sword. Nice. All right. 
that will bring us to Missouri. All right, so just spinning, turning, looking, noticing nobody's even paying attention. Um, not igniting it, it's a different ability. The smoke starts, seems to form on my uh, chain and sensor. And I whip it from overhead, quickly pulling it in close to my hand and moving it like this as a small amount of smoke emanates out. And let me find my, where's my buddy? There he is. He's a small guy. Um, <laughs> um, a rhinoceros um, actually appears, uh, weirdly with a saddle on its back. <laughs> do you want I'll to describe just... how this rhinoceros looks, or do you want me to? Um, basically, he does look like a standard uh, rhinoceros. The eyes are sunken in. The horn, instead of just being those, like, this smaller horn than the other one, is actually misshapen and almost kind of curls and ends in sort of two spikes. Um, it looks a little sunken around the ribs um, and just not, it does not look like a happy boy. The, uh, even where its mouth is, it seems to curl up so you can see teeth. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, as you summon this creature, uh, you kind of look over your shoulder and you see Dimitri is plastered against the window, and he has a giant smile on his face. You know, I, I, and and if only I could end the turn there with with the joy of this child. <laughs> but um, looking at uh, kind of the way things are, uh, it's it's dangerous. But you could wet your horn. Yes. And so. He will, ch or she, uh, so I'll go, go Mary, and she will charge, um, I'll put it right here, at the one right here, in, uh, <clears throat> in front of, uh, Ba, is that, no, that's not Ba, that's Quedon. Quedon, yep. So in front of Quedon, all of a sudden, this massive rhinoceros just comes in and just tries to gore, and that, uh, that little zombie there, let me do, let me see what it is here, let me do his, uh. Uh, do, do, do. Um, you need to do a DC uh, 15, but we'll let's see what it is. Uh, no, it's not going to hit. doesn't matter. So it's a 16 and he'll miss. Or uh, 11 um, and he'll miss, yeah. So as the rhino comes in, at the last second, you hear a click as the Sporeborn sees it coming, locks its sword in a very military move, locks its sword against its hand, and actually catches that space between the horn and digs in its feet. And you can see it get pushed back a little bit, but it's able to keep it from penetrating armor. And so uh, my last move will be for the turn will be to uh, first get the roar to see where I can move. Um, yeah, I'm going to come up and start to help my people. And I'll run up uh, behind and say... Um, Work with it. It's ours. Obviously out of breath, but I just seem drained. Not like I've, you know, been to the track. <laughs> and then I'll end the turn there. All right. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so that will bring us to Bosric. Nice. Having seen the block, Bos looks as well bad for a literal has been. And I look over at Clover and say, Allow me to demonstrate for you the fine art of flanking. And I'm going to move into a flanking position with what I now know to be my ally. And I am going to, in classic anime style, pop my sword and do a drawing slash. All right. I'm playing a samurai. I'm embracing <laughs> the weeaboo. <laughs> So, long sword, attack with advantage. It will be a 22. That will hit. What do I do for damage? Ah, uh, just click. Uh, I should. You should be able to click long sword in the uh, in the chat there. Uh, should. Yeah, okay, um, there's also, if you're on D&D Beyond, there is where the damage is. Click that, and it'll roll it for you. Ah, cool. Yeah, there you go. All right, four, four damage. piercing damage. Oh, All wait, right, no, you I'm used your crossbow. 
Yeah, wrong. That's the thing I've been. Yeah. All like, right. That's not me... piercing damage. There we go. All right. And you are one handed slashing, I'm assuming? Since yep. Since we're doing the anime? Okay. And also right. with a shield. Yes. Okay. Right. And that's my first attack. Now I get a second attack because I'm a fifth level fighter. And I may not be able to do fancy magic, but I can hit things. Like I said, you have the fist spell. No, I have the sword spell. Well, I see what that was. Uh, since nobody's announcing it, but we should all be pretty hyped about it. Nat 20. Hey! <laughs> 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 In fairness, I can't see any of the rolls. Um, okay. Many tests. So that is, <laughs> let's see, it's twenty damage. Not bad. Is because that crit the proper, yeah, the proper crit damage. Yeah, crit is full damage plus roll. Awesome. So yes, twenty damage. Well done. All right. Uh, this Sporeborn is looking rough. Not dead yet. Um, it seems like the hits, they're hitting, but it seems like it's not digging as deep as you know it should, because you fought a long time with this sword. Um, but that will bring us to Quedon. Great. So remind me of our objective here. We're trying to get somewhere, and these guys are preventing us from getting there, right? Uh, yes, you're trying to go about 100 feet to the south. There is a large citadel. Great. Secondary question. Invisibility evades opportunity attacks? Invisibility does evade opportunity attacks, yes. Cool. Um, so I am going to bonus action hidden step. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to get uh, however I can get that's going to get me in, in range of the most of these guys within 30 feet. So I'm assuming that's going to be somewhere in this clump of four that'll also get me up to this top. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. One. What's the cool ruler button that everybody's using? Ah, I wait. I think fourth I down <laughs> on the uh, left panel. Oh, okay. So right now I'm in range of this guy and and this that. I didn't have a shitty mouse, I could do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that'll get me. Shoot. Apologies, my mouse is not letting me do the ruler. You're all right. I'm assuming you're trying to get into where you can. That'll turn. be like right around yeah. there. Okay. Oh yes, I'm gonna turn. You, you bet. You bet, I'm gonna turn. That'll be up here. All right. So that'll be within. Ah. Love roll twenty. Uh huh. Oh, not quite that guy. But definitely all of these. Yeah. I think it's and all then... of them except purple. Great. And you bet your ass I'm going to turn undead. So that'll be... Er, yep. Uh, these creatures don't happen to be half or lower CR, correct? I'm afraid they are not. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> I'm that, like, I might That's why well. a party of level fives is only fighting seven of them. Yeah, so <laughs> I was like, hmm. <laughs> I, I was I wondering saw, too. I was like... I, <laughs> I know, I saw a really cool thing I could do, but, uh, yes. Uh, turn undead. I present my holy symbol, I speak a prayer. That'll be a wisdom saving throw from all five of them, DC 15. Okay. Um, what's the range on it? Sorry, all six of them. Yeah. Uh, 30. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, DC 16, so we'll go with the one that's fighting Zier first. Great. Uh, the one that's fighting Zier is afraid of you. Um, yellow is afraid. Green is afraid. Orange is very afraid. It suffered a natural one. 
Pink. He is not afraid. Pink is just tanking everything. That's the main character. And That's... blue. <laughs> This He's isn't afraid. our story. It's it's pink. Story. Five out of six. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! Um. All right. Blue, you're looking for those two opportunity attacks as well. <laughs> Blue cannot decide if it is more afraid of the samurai, the horrifying death cleric, or the shadow rhinoceros. Blue is having an existential crisis. <laughs> I think it knows by. I think it knows. <laughs> I think it wants to run away, uh, Mr. It, DM. I it, think it, it will wants on to... its turn. <laughs> give, give it time. <laughs> and uh, anything else? That's my movement action, bonus action. I think that's a pretty darn killer turn. I'm all right. Good. Clovis. Well, somebody just did the thing I was going to do, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, I think seeing us just start dunking on all of these zombies, uh, Clovis is going to get a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit more confidence to move forward. Uh, so he's going to move, 10, 15, uh, 20 feet up to engage in the flank that Boz has shown him. Uh, but instead of actually doing that, because he doesn't know what he's supposed to do next, uh, he is going to look at everyone and say, Hey guys, this is going great! Uh, and cast Bless uh, on uh, Mizura, Boz, and Quedon. Nice. Um, and because I am an Order Domain Cleric, and this is the first time that I've been able to use this, uh, I'm going to activate Voice of Authority. So since I've uh, cast a spell uh, with a spell slot of first level or higher and targeted an ally, uh, I'm going to choose Boz since he's right in front of one. Uh, Boz can use his reaction immediately after the spell to make one weapon attack against a creature of my choice. Um, do you still have your crossbow in your hand? I have my right? sword in my hand. Sword in hand? All right, then just the one right in front of you. Um, and as I cast this spell, you'll see a little spectral tortoise, like a, a little tiny one on top of my shoulder say, he is my shield. You are my sword. Well, uh, do, does Bless also manifest as tiny tortoises on everyone's shoulder? Of course it does. <laughs> do I get an attack with advantage? You do. All right. Well, I'm I've made it my policy now in in things not to say anything cool until I can confirm I've actually done the cool thing. So twenty three. Only two damage. That is crossbow, crossbow again. Oh, I should put my sword. Of, it's it's in it's it's done. Uh, alphabetically but okay all right good hit is it still up uh-huh all right well if it is still up i will look into its uh until it's uh it's you may you may describe if it still has eyes and i will say it has one the other half of its face i'll is look covered into in its eye and i will say break against the wall <laughs> all right Cool. Anything else, Clovis? Oh yeah, I forgot it's my turn. Uh, uh, nope, that's it. All right, Zier. Howdy. Uh, what DM is your ruling for swapping weapons? Are you a free action person? Are you a bonus action? What? How do you rule? Um. We are playing a very difficult campaign. You are heroes of legend. It's a free action. Excellente. Swapping to my rapier from my short bow. Um, I stab. I do a little stab on okay. the man next to me. How hurt do they look? Um, Pink purple. They have a gaping hole in their chest, but it has not slowed them down. Okay. They do, however, look very afraid. Okay. But they don't look like they're on death's door by any means. No. Great. Then I shall stab. 
which is not which is not at all too shabby for a corpse. All right. Yeah, I know that's pretty good, isn't it? Good yeah, those those mushrooms are something. Don't ever let anybody oh, tell you that. Oh no! That's twenty. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> Never let anybody tell you that probiotics aren't good for you. <laughs> These mushrooms are the best. Yes. I love this so much. We're dominating. <laughs> you guys are doing a lot better than I thought you would. I will say. Yeah, but Zero doesn't want to hurt him too. <laughs> when two of us okay. don't run away at the very beginning of the fight, things go great. Correct. We've learned Who the would lesson. Guess? So... Well, also, when your robe doesn't face check, you know, a giant werewolf. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, full damage on a rapier is um, 12 plus 6 is 18. Your full sneak attack damage is 18 more. Am I still sneaked? Uh, yes, because it's afraid. Oh, yes, I do get advantage. Um, so let's see. Oh, oh. I didn't know I was going to crit. I really don't want to kill this man. <laughs> uh, you might not. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, I know you're doing a lot, so let's see. So that's 18 plus 18. Sorry, math. 36 plus 8. 40. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> you didn't kill him. Okay, cool. But he is, like, falling apart. He is held together by the, the strands of mycelium from the mushrooms. Oh, cool. Excellent. Zir sees this, is kind of afraid, and disengages. Okay. And I will rejoin the group. All right. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll come stand by these big two guys. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's so my tier. That will make it the turn of the The turn scoreboard. of the turned, if you will. The turn of the turned, yes. Uh, so three of the Sporeborn that you feared are slowed. So they are going to use uh, their action to go one, two, three. One, rat, two, no three. Escape. One, two, three. You can. Um, this one is going to run one, two, three. One of its feet is going to fall off and start hopping behind it. Um, this one is going to dash again. One, two, three, four, five, six to right there to try to get closer to Queden. Uh, this one is also going to run. Zir, the Rhino, and Clovis all have an attack of opportunity. Uh, oh, we right. will go for that in order of... I don't want to do it in order of initiative because Zir and Clovis just went, so we're going to let the Rhino go first if he wants to. I'm going to give uh, roll 20 one last chance with the... Uh, with the okay. It's an 11 again. I'm never rolling with these with, with roll 20 ever again. Because right, um, yeah, that was with a through. bonus 7. <laughs> so It's rolled can't... two 11s in a row. <laughs> With plus seven. Tam will sometimes throw out things to switch from digital real dice. Roll that again with real dice. It jumped over you, my mouse and landed. If incorrect. you if you miss again, though, I can't help you. No, no, no. That That's going to be a 21. <laughs> uh -huh. There do we it. go. That's what we want. Okay, let's see. Wow, uh, 2d8. Okay. 2d8 plus strength. Plus five. Right. Six and an eight. That's going to be 14. That's 19. Goring. Down. All right. Uh, Shadow Rhino, how do you want to do this? <clears throat> so the sword is currently lodged in there. So mm -hmm. it's almost like sword fighting. It's going to push back, disengage its horns, and then just come down like this with that rightmost horn just goring it straight through the top of its head. Pushing it down a little into its shoulders. So as it pushes down, um, the creature, you can see the sword fall out of its hand, and then there's a... As it bursts into spores. But all of you are quick enough to cover your mouth, so nothing happens. Um, now, um, Pink is going to turn its attention to Quedon. 
seeing that he is the one that caused its friends to run, and it's going to take a step in and take two swings at Queenan. It can certainly try. It's certainly going to. Uh, 23. Yeah, that'll that's a good try. <laughs> 12 well, slashing well, damage. Okay. And second Ouch. attack. 16 to hit. Uh, that, with the Shield of Faith, does not do it. All right. So as it swings in for that second slash, um, one of those tendrils of black energy wraps around the sword and just stops it in place and pushes it back. Yeah. Um, that will be the end of the Sporeborn's turn. Mazura. Mazura and Mazino. <laughs> um, so looking quickly, um, just taking a uh, thing, where are my teammates looking? Like, where, are they, where is their eyeline? Where is their eyeline? What are they looking at? Team? Uh, I'm mostly clocking all the zombies. I'm it's looking horrible. at the stab -a -mole display that just happened right in front of me. Very good. Yeah. Zero? Uh, I'd be looking at the pink in front of Queen. All right. Um, this is a bad idea, but I'm going to try it. Um... You'll love to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I sure do. No, I'm trying to think if there's a way I can do it and uh, not be terrible about it. Um, so actually, uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Takes... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to. How bad a shape does uh, Queden look like he's in? I'm chilling. Oh, if you don't, if you're fine, then uh, no, nobody's gonna really care too much. Um, I will uh, step forward. What? <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll step wait, forward. Wait, wait, I'm so alarmed. <laughs> wait, that's not what I thought you meant when you asked that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay. Do you need help? It was. Can you take this? So, yeah, uh, yeah, no, no. you know, I, I, it was very important a moment ago, but he's actually going to um, go see for the it. one hitting go for you. It. Um, he is going to step forward, looking right at the zombie that attacked you. His eyes will flash a little, and he'll be like, the sinews and mushrooms that hold you together will strangle your insides and drag your soul to a place that even you will not want to be. As I use this, and it whispers. Um... <laughs> And let me roll. That's gonna be a. Oh no, that's. Uh, oh sorry, uh, that's. So oh, yep, that's gonna be a good time. Wisdom save sixteen. All right. And this is pink. This is uh, the, pink. the hero yes. of the story. The, no 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 no. The the hero story can 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 suck it. This is the one that touched. Oh is it? Yeah no, it's uh, the one that attacked Queden. Yeah, the hero of the story. Pink will really? fail his first save. <laughs> he did. Well, that's going to be a bad day for him. Okay, let me uh, do a let me do the damage roll on this bad boy. Um, five d six. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna trust roll twenty. This is a terrible idea. Why? It's a terrible idea. All right. Uh, he will take twenty damage as some of the mushrooms on his skull wither and die. And then uh, I think it's far enough away. I was about to say, um, yeah, I was about to say. I think it uh, doesn't have to run too far. Oh, it says it just dies. No, some of the mushrooms wither and die. Oh, it's still very easy. alive. And I don't think he's close enough that he'd have to run away. Correct? Because he has to move uh, as far as he can away from me. Oh, well, he as does. A reaction. He has to move. Uh, so he moves out of Queden's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Quedan, you get an attack of opportunity. If you want uh, it. I mean, yeah. Attack of opportunity. Those those have to be weapon attack. Unless you have the Warcaster feet, yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Then I'll go for it. Next on the shopping with, list. With my sickles. 
with disadvantage. That is 12 plus 5, or... That's only a 10. That will miss. Rats. All right. Well, now uh, Mizino goes, and uh -huh. I'm just going to look at the rhino and go, I know you want to. As it immediately charges, let me uh, there. up here to try to gore that. Okay. And that's going to be a... 13 plus 7, so it's a dirty 20. That'll hit. And then a 2d8, that's going to be a 4 and a 6, so that's 10, 15 more damage, and it must make a DC uh, 15 strength saving throw. 15, you said, more damage? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, And a strength save. It's not good at those. Why would you make me do that? I'm not doing anything. It's 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 Mary that's doing. It. Uh, okay. Uh, it has failed its strength save. All right. That's good news. Then it will be uh, knocked prone. Okay. It is prone. And that and will bring us uh, to. Sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say. And uh, when he gores uh, it, and the, the zombie just flops down, I'm just gonna just kind of. I'm I'm a proud I'm a proud friend. I'm just like yes. And then I'll pass it after I fist bump, fist pump for the uh, the rhino. All right, then that will bring us to Bosric. I will interpose myself between um, Whedon and this Sporeborn, and I shall. Well, let's see how I do. This is just flat roll, yes. So... Tvantivan? That will hit. Twelve damage. All right. Twenty-four. That will also hit. Or seven. All right. All right. Anything else? Uh, that's about it. All right. Queden. Uh, exactly what I don't want to hear. Um, you have six I, feet of orc uh... between you and that zombie, so half orc. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Now you guys have me doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna gonna take that opportunity. Thank you. Um. What's looking the most beat up at the moment? Uh, this scoreboard definitely, back definitely here. that definitely that guy. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. Might as well. All reliable. Guiding bolt first level this time I'm gonna go okay. ahead well here let me move let me move out like 10 feet to face it I'll just move out five feet actually oh, uh, I'm still in ruler mode <laughs> there we are all right that'll be that's well that's one roll Hey, oh my god, I wish you could see that. Wish we had a camera on that die. I just rolled two nat 20s in a row. Nice. Screw you, screw you disadvantage. <laughs> well, don't even worry about damage. It had one hit point left. How do you want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, this is going to... This... Uh, yeah, this Guiding Bolt, almost in... Like, almost in the same vein as that shield. Just these, like like sickening black tendrils almost like stretching out from me but also like coming out from the ground as well as it traces that path towards it um like gaining more and more and more strength uh as it is 
as this bolt is just rejuvenated from this dark force coming up uh, from from down under, uh, <laughs> and it's just going to blast this thing. I I just I just want to like disintegrate it. <laughs> All right, it is. Yeah. Consider it disintegrated. Yeah. All right. Any bonus action? Uh, I I never want to say I don't think so. Let me tab through it. I'm gonna bonus action. I'm gonna free action. Say, take that. <laughs> and... All right. I do not have any applicable bonus actions, no. Fair enough. Clovis. All right. Um, so uh, which one just got uh, deleted? Uh, the one that was up here. Oh, okay. The, the one that had been fighting Zier. Gotcha, gotcha. That Zier brought to one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> um... I not a whole lot else to do. Um, I think we've kind of got this very readily in hand. Um, I Famous think last words. at this point, Clovis is looking around the battlefield with just a like, I didn't think we could do this good. Uh, and he's just like, ah, you, uh, and points straight forward. And I'm, I'm just going to do another uh, guiding bolt at uh, Mr. Yellow. All right. Uh, wow, that's hilarious. Um, roll day three, <laughs> so that's That'll ten be a to miss. hit. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. To roll it again. Yep. Curve the bullet. Yep. That's... That's significantly better. Yeah, it's a nat 20 is what it yep. is. Um... Inspiration well well used. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so what is the damage wow. on this? It's 4d6 at first level. Good lord. Yeah, it's a good spell. All right, so that's 24 plus 10. So Hooray! That's 34 damage. Uh, doesn't quite kill it, though. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Rigged. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, Clovis is just like... This has been working so far. You! And then his finger just like... <laughs> <laughs> wow. I enjoy that his guiding bolt almost knocks him over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well done. All right. Anything else? Nope. That is it for me. All right. Zier. Nice. Zier, um, my dear. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> um... I will go ahead and I'll look at Clovis like just as surprised as he is at what he did. Like, whoa! <laughs> and I'll like, I'll take a moment to compose myself and I look like cool and cunning. And as the rogue, I'll, I'll dash in with my bonus action okay. and get right up on this yellow that he just blew the fuck um, and I, ha okay, I'm assuming it looks pretty close to to a bad place. Yes. Yes. No? Also, still Great. slowed, so you get advantage. And, awesome. Well, you had advantage anyway because it's guiding bolt. There's a big yeah. like, oh wow. There's a big like <laughs> branded turtle shell. Very good. Where I hit it. I love it. Um, I just cool. imagine you hit it with a waffle iron. Like <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what it looks like. That's oh, perfect. is that one that is that one that I'm fighting slowed? I can't see. Yes. If it's got a snail on it. Oh, then yeah. I should yes. have. Should I have had advantage on that then, or? No, that's just a rogue thing. No, uh, you would have. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, sorry. Oh, that's fine. Then. I will remember that for later. Um, And then I will go ahead and use my repeater non-lethally. Okay. That is a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Hate to break it to you, but oh, they well, that are was, dead. That wasn't with a... Advantage. Let me roll one more time just in case. Just in case you accidentally crit. In case I accidentally crit. Well, I rolled a 19, so it's close. So I super hmm. hit. Um, cool. And then damage. Let's 
So that would be a 20 friend non-lethal right. damage to Mr. Yellow. All right. Uh, it is... You You are the master of bringing things to one hit point. Nice. <laughs> All right. Narratively, Zir, like, looks like she's like, oh, yeah, like, Clovis just beat you up, but I'm going to finish you off. And so she's she's very, I think she's very practiced at this point to where she's flashy about it, where it looks like she's using her full force. But, like, anyone who, like, I assume Missouri, if he's watching, knows that she's holding back because she does not want to kill these things. Mm -hmm. So as the fear from the um, the turn falls off of these things because they've started to take damage. They crack and turn towards you. But now you get a good look at their face, Zir. This person is terrified. And the one right up on you goes, Help me! <laughs> And swings its sword at you. Oh boy! <laughs> First hit. Nat 20. That oh. hits! Uh, so that will be... Uh, uh, 16 slashing damage. Excellente. Second hit. I uh, will be a 9, so that will miss. Miss. All right, and then these two are going to Thank come back goodness. in. <laughs> this one can't quite make it to you. This one just can't. And it is going to also take two swings, and it's going to go, please, get them off! It hurts! Uh, dirty 20. Oh, oh. Yep. 11 slashing damage. Okay. Eight. That That's doesn't hit. All right. Um, Pink That's so going, good on the follow through. Pink is going to stand up and take two swings at Missouri Rhino. Uh, 23. Yeah, that's going to hit. Okay. Leave Mazino alone. Eight slashing damage. Yeah, that's nothing. I didn't think it was, but, you know, it's going to keep trying. And then eight, so it misses. Uh, and then purple is going to take two swings at Bosric. Okay. Uh, it's a miss. I think it can only make one attack since it's slow. Yes. And it also makes it with disadvantage. So, um... Oh, no, it doesn't. It just... Yeah, it's a normal roll, but it can only make one attack. It's still missed, though. Yeah. It rolled abysmally. Uh, okay. Uh, is it also begging for death? Yes, it is. Uh, Missouri. All right, I'm I'm just taking a look at the battlefield here because it's changed substantially. Yeah, stuff happens. I know. Yeah, I noticed that. It's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna let uh, Miz, uh, Ms. Rhino go first because um, <laughs> I'm in danger. Uh, <laughs> so, um, as Rhino up being hit again, is just going to start trying to just gore, ripping it from sternum to, to neck. If it looks at him and says, please help me, Ms. Rhino does not give a shit. Um, so that's going to be an 11 plus the 7, so that'll be an 18. That'll hit. All right, I'm just letting roll 20 do all my damage because... It's gonna get me. It's gonna get me. Okay, so um, hey. oh, it, ro it rolled amazing. Look at it. <laughs> it's a seventeen bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. uh, how does he look? Not great, but he's not on death's door. Okay, and then currently, um, Zir's completely surrounded, right? Yes. Yeah, it's not a good thing. Do she I looks pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> she looks. Oh, does she look really bad? Pretty bad. Yeah, she just she just took like two hits pretty pretty heavily. Any of them around her look bad? Ah, uh, yeah. The yellow is on one hit point. Like, 
I, I don't. I, I'm not I ashamed of telling you that. <laughs> um, okay, so, damn, I didn't want to have to use it so soon. Um, seeing that she's actually um, in danger for the first time that I, the first time this game, I think actually last time she was really good at it. I keep having a difficulty of flipping. I have both roll twenties on, uh -huh. so for the map and for me, and I'm flipping back and forth. I'm going no. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so orange. Uh, I'm just going to look at the others real quick because I know they're focused up on purple. And so I'm not overly worried here. And I'm just going to go. I'm going to hold out my hands in front of me. And then two smoky bolts are going to fly from my hands, crackling with purple energy trailing behind them um, as I send uh, them towards orange. And I'm, I'm assuming that's your two Eldritch Blasts. Those are the Eldritch Blasts. And Love it. I'm going to do... Um, that's a 10 plus 8. That'll hit. Is, that'll hit. And then... Uh, yes! You guys have all gotten them so far. Nat 20! <laughs> yeah! So is that everyone? Be... I think everyone's gotten them. Yeah, this, I think this, that is, yeah. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> except for the innocent yeah. people that we're killing. This is great. Oh, you know, yeah. so, so I'm going to do the... So Wait, well, they want it. They I, want missed, it I, I missed that part. What? So huh? it's, a, it's a D. So it's full damage. Does that include my plus modifier? Or it's it full damage the with the plus modifier and then whatever you roll on the dice. You don't add your modifier twice. Oh, okay. Um... Well, that's a nine, so it's going to be twenty-four on the first on that uh, crit Eldritch blast right at that. All right. Point. And then the other one will be a an eight with a five, so that's going to be thirteen. All right. All right. Now it's looking bad, but it's still standing. And I'll I will look back. What's Bozrek doing this for a particular second? I mean, got a zombie in front of me. So. Oh wait, wait. No, who's in that? I I don't know the icons. Who's standing? Uh, okay, by? so Clovis is in the back. Queen is right behind Boz, and so what is Zier is surrounded. So what is Clovis doing at this very second? Uh, he was about to attack the one that you just attacked. Oh, okay. So he will turn around and be like, "Help her," and then he'll actually start moving in uh, with his movement. I'm gonna move in. Uh, let me see where I can. Okay, so I will move about right here. So I'm in range to do just about everything I want to do next round. And then I will pass. All right. Bosric. For a swing on guy in front of me. These are advantage. Yes. I don't actually know if slow does that, but I think it's cool. So we're going to keep it. <laughs> That'll hit. Too. Goes to 11. Goes to 11. Uh, is he still standing? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Like I said, your hits aren't really penetrating. Almost as if these creatures have resistance to things. That's a one. Okay. That would be a mess. Wait, is that a one or is this? No, no, that's a seven. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, better. Um... So yeah, that'll hit. Yep. Eight. All right. Yeah, uh, that's about all I can do, I think, at the moment. All right. And Queen. yeah, actually, I'll turn to Queen and say, Help Z. Oh, yes. Um... Uh, yeah, I just uh, a couple of uh, reactionary things. Yeah, I want to turn to to Clovis on his his couple guiding bolts and just scream across the battlefield, a hero we might make yet. Uh, and I am going to uh, I'm going to rush. Let me make sure. One, two, three. Fuck. God damn it. And two, three. Well, yeah, I can make this. I'm going to be right here. All right. Uh, question before I do what I'm about to do. So, uh, spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. The attack of spiritual weapon. 
Uh is a bonus action. It is part of your bonus action, yes. It's part of the bonus action. Yes. Summoning the spiritual weapon also gives it an attack. Fantastic. So I'm going to use my action to cast a second level Cure Wounds uh, for a friend's ear. All right. That'll be... That'll be 17 hit points for you, friend. Wow. Thank you. Yay. And then which of these guys is looking the most beat up orange, right? Yellow has one hit point. Yellow. Oh, great. <laughs> cool. Um, great. Then I'm going to... I'm going to, with that bonus action, cast that spiritual weapon. Remind me, with Zarakis, what weapon would that be? Um, so Zarakis' weapon in mind. is actually a glaive. Okay. Awesome. So shimmering glaive we have hovering above all three of these. And part of that bonus action, we're going to make that attack. This is just a first level for this because... These guys are fairly beaten up. This will be... I will have a glaive for you next time that you can summon and just drag out. All good. Why am I not... Hold on. Why am I not finding it? Is it... Oh, it's a second level spell, isn't it? Uh, Yes. Yep. My bad. Uh, Then there will be a second level spell. Uh, Cool. Make that attack roll. Still not great. Uh, that'll be a it'll be a fourteen cross fingers. Fourteen to hit. Yes, that will hit. Let's go. Here we go. Four points of damage, glaive, but it, yep. it'll it'll work. That glaive strikes down from the skies and takes that guy off the board. All right. That's my... uh, Actually, I'm going to use the rest of my movement to get around... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, actually. How much did I have? I was where? You were, I believe, catty corner to Bosrick. So from here, you moved 30 feet. Okay, then I that is my turn. <laughs> okay. Top of our lineup, Clovis. All right. Uh, I was given simple, followable instructions, so I will I will do so. Uh, I'm going to rush forward 30 feet um, and hold out my uh, what Clovis has decided is his magic hand because it's it's working now uh, towards Zier and say, "Stand on, heal." Uh, and instead of healing, uh, he will cast Shield of Faith. All right. Um, and, uh, so, yeah, a a little spectral turtle shell starts orbiting around you, (laughs) um, and as it does so, a, a, that, that miniature turtle appears on your shoulder this time, uh, as, uh, Voice of Authority (laughs) activates... (laughs) Uh, and the little mini Stendar on your shoulder says, you're not quite my style, but let's make it work. Uh, and you can take a, an attack as a reaction. Oh, cool. Um, let's see. As in right now? As mm-hmm. in right now. Right wow. this very moment. Wow. Okay. I will attack Brown here. Do they okay. look like if I attack them, they will die? Yeah. Non-lethal. Okay. If we want, we can just say, unless you want me to be explicit about it every time, if they are close to death, then it will always be non-lethal. I will I will assume that if you ever attempt, that if someone is ever close to death, that you are trying not to kill them. Excellent. Great assumption. Because I know your backstory. I got a net one. <laughs> well, well, like, about that. Fuck this turtle. <laughs> I don't want you here. <laughs> You're so non-lethal. You don't even hit. I have bad news. 
It's going uh-huh. to take it's going to take the opportunity for you to be flat footed to swing back. Okay. Uh, does a you fifteen did one hit you? Beat beat. It does. Uh, with the shield of faith. Oh. How much does that provide me? Two extra. Then no, it doesn't. Thank you, All Shield right. of Faith. So as the sword comes in, that turtle shell moves just a little bit faster and deflects it. Nice. <laughs> Keep in mind, she was just talking crap on that turtle a second <laughs> yeah, ago. Mini Stendar on your shoulder. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and that will bring us to Zir. Okay. And Zero kind of just can do it without the turtle. <laughs> And she tries again. <laughs> that time it is another nat one. I need the. I have to accept the turtle into my life. Is what yes. I'm discovering right now. You technically have advantage on these because it is slowed, but I don't. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, that, but you that could get a nat twenty. That's true. Oh, they do. Yes, I recall. Those are the rules. Let me roll. And if you get a nat twenty, you can just do it again. And hopefully not get another one. I certainly didn't. Okay, so that will be a miss. Great. The macro <laughs> is punishing our hubris. <laughs> I know we've got to we've got to balance out all the all the. I 20s. mean, Stendar is the god of civilization. <laughs> he might also be the god of roll twenty. He is. That's he's true. angry. <laughs> Stendar invented the internet. Yes. No, that was, was our game. That's Excellent. about to say, yeah. <laughs> And I think that's it for me. I'm I'm just angrily squabbling with the turtle at this point. Okay. Uh, it is the Zambo's turns. Um, so this one's going to move into here. Um, all right. So that will be two attacks against Zir, one from each of them, one attack against Bosric, and two attacks against the Rhino. This will, however, be the last turn of slow. After this turn, it will fall off. Ooh. So, first attack against Zir. I'm aiming for a 17 now, I think. Yes. That is a miss. Great. Only because of the shield. Wow. That is a hit. (laughs) So, Zir, you will take nine slashing. Okay. Balzric. Both of them would have missed. You're right. Uh, That will probably be a miss, Balzric. What's your AC? 19. Oh, that's definitely a miss. Okay. And then two on the Rhino. Uh, that is a decided miss. And a 13. A 13 weirdly hits a Rhino. I don't understand. They're slow. <laughs> uh, for four slashing damage. He probably thought he sneezed. Yeah, probably. Um, and with that, you see the weighted turtle shells disappear from their backs. All right. All right, guys. Button. Stendar got busy. He had somewhere. He had to go somewhere else. That will bring us to Missouri. He's concentrating all of his energy and squabbling with the child. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, um, that's that sounds like an authority <clears throat> figure. <laughs> yeah, real real old man vibes there. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me see here. Um... Oh, that's a wrong uh, spell right there. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to do um, which one near her looks like it's feeling good? Green. Green. Okay. Um, similar to before, um, I will step forward and say, your mouths are gone because your brains are nothing. They decayed into the excrement that comes out of your anus, which is what you're worth in death. And I'm going to use Vicious Mockery. It needs to beat uh, Wisdom 16. Mazur is so fun. He And when he does that, he just, it's like he seems to get a little bit like darker. Like it, He like failed. And he, uh, wait, I failed or he failed? No, he failed. Oh, okay. No, you did great. I would, I would assume one would fail after hearing that. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be uh, that's fucked up, is what it is. Seven um, psychic, okay. and has uh, dic- uh, then has um, what's it called? Uh, disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its turn of its next. All turn. right, sounds great. Um, 
the uh, we got we still have a uh, beefy boy up there, and mm -hmm. at having at this point just being hit twice, he's just kind of pissed off. And just <laughs> at this point, is just trying to let me see where he is. Uh, actually, trying to gore him and actually pushing him up and into the side of that building. Okay. And so that's going to be a fourteen. Well, it's a plus the seven, so it'll be a, a twenty-one. That'll hit. That will that will hit. And then two d eight. Well, that was sad. All right, so it's a two and a six, so eight plus five, so thirteen. All right. Still up. This damn thing! I swear. All right. At that point, I will just pass the turn, hoping that everybody else helps Zir out more as well. All right, Bosric. See. So no more advantage. No more advantage. No. That will still hit though. Four. All right. Eat. Okay. Is it still standing? Mm-hmm. Very still standing. I swear by Haragoki's rack, you things are hard to kill! <laughs> That'll hit. All right. I think we may have been the only two to get that. <laughs> No. Preston smiled. Okay. <laughs> All right. And that will bring us... <laughs> Someone did the homework. <laughs> I read the document. <laughs> and that will bring us to Queden. Great. Um, <laughs> first things first. So, is orange on one hit point or was I... No, I yellow mistaken? was on one hit point and yellow has and then I And then I got it. Okay. Yeah. So of these two, worst looking is is green. Brown, brown is, is looking brown. much okay. worse. All right, cool. I am. Uh, let's go ahead and you. Let's go ahead and move that uh, spiritual weapon over to him. We're just go. We're gonna go ahead and roll that. Roll that beautiful bean footage. I gotta roll the hit for that, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's d20 plus your wisdom mod plus your proficiency. Great. Uh, those are both pretty good. Uh, da, da, da. 15 plus... I'm assuming that's all I need to say. Yes. Great. Uh, love saving me from doing occasional math. <laughs> 1d8 plus 4. Hey, max damage. That's 12. Nice. All right. Um, the Glaive of Zarakis cleaves through another scoreboard. Darn right it does. All right. Um, and... One thing I will say is where the others have burst or vanished, as the Glaive passes through, you hear kind of a... like an exhale as the body just falls. Yep. Um. And I'm going to. I don't. I don't know when our next rest is going to be. But I've got. I got lots of spell slots. I'm gonna. I'm okay. Show the up. That, the words that are gonna <laughs> bite. Bite me. Uh, later, I'm going to. I'm gonna move over to him, and good old reliable inflict wounds. Eh, just a just a first level. Okay. Oh, well, that's a. Four plus seven, eight, nine, ten. That's an eleven to hit. 
All right, uh, that will miss. Great. Okay. Almost, al almost glad for my spell slots. Uh, oh wait, no, that definitely still takes one up. Never mind. Uh, will that be it for you, Queden? Uh, it will. All right, Clovis. All right, uh, Clovis is going to charge up uh, towards Bosric. He's going to run around this way to here. Uh, and on his way, before I, I get into uh, position, uh, he is going to point at uh, this one here um, before I'm in melee range of it and cast Sacred Flame. So I All right. make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. It's also really bad at those. What is the DC? 15. It failed. All right. Uh, that's 2d8 radiant... Uh, 14 radiant damage. All right. Uh, the flames ignite the spore parts of this creature, and it is looking rough. All Not right. down, but very rough. Yeah, and I'm going to slide in behind it, pull my shield out, look over its shoulder at Bosric. Flank! <laughs> and a boy! <laughs> and that will bring us to Zir. I do a stab. I do it to stab. I do it. I do it to stab. Okay. I do it to stab on the green man. Yep. And I have. I am capable of doing sneak attack because I have yes. someone flanking. Mm-hmm. Hee. -hee. Okay. Man, Astrosk really gave us some good music. Like, you'd think after this long, the, re the repetition would get old, but it really doesn't. I know. He killed it. It's very good. <laughs> okay. I'd assume I, I had advantage, yes. You did okay. not have advantage, but a 22 still. No, I didn't. Great. 22. And I make it a stab. Mm hmm. All right. 21, not bad. All right. Does it look close to death? It does not. Great. She will stand where she is. Okay. It is now their turn. Um, this one, even though it is on fire, is very focused on Bosric and does not want to turn its attention off of him. So it's going to take two swings on Bosric. Uh, 22 to hit. Congrats, you hit me. Nice. Seven slashing. Okay, that gets rid of my 510. Second attack, 21 and to hit. That will also hit. Three slashing. Okay, so... All right. Two attacks against the Shadow Rhino. Cool. I'm that at is a miss. And a hit for 11 slashing damage on the Rhino. Then one attack against Zir. Or two attacks against Zir, but one is attacking. Rhino's How's not Rhino looking, looking great. by the way? He, he's, oh, he's, looking okay. at about, he's looking at about how, a little over half health. Okay. <laughs> uh, that will be a hit on you, Zir. Okay. Uh, for 12 slashing. Eey, okay. And second attack is a miss. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Mizura. All right. This rhino is going to go first. Again, just keep just... At this point, I assume you know, the thing's just scored on him, and he's just slamming it into the building. <laughs> Pink, Pink really is the main character because he and Rhino have had like their own like separate combat this whole time. <laughs> this is this is a, yeah, we're in the B plot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z duel going on. So over that's here. a twelve plus the seven. That's going to be a nineteen. That'll hit. But will it matter? He's fighting the boss. He he is the boss. It's. Seven and a six. Okay, 13. 18. D does he even care? 
Go ahead and dictate how Shadow Rhino finally fells his greatest foe. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I can never summon this Rhino again because this is the the, the greatest thing he'll have ever done. Yeah, you, he's he's peaked. It's completed um, its arc. <clears throat> this is actually gonna do some damage, but so basically, Zomboid is on his horn and he just kind of goes down low, comes up and just breaks him along, probably breaking part of this building out here as he just kind of gores him and rips him up the side of the building. Uh, yeah, that will uh, actually create a furrow in that building. Uh, I, for for uh, Ms. Rhino's name, did the, at any point in time, did the, did the zombie say, help me? Yes. Okay, then he's in even more happiness now because he did not help him. Um, <laughs> and then uh, me being where I am, uh, do, 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 do. I will, let's see here, uh, damn. Again, I will, uh, attempt to vicious mockery. I'll, I'll speak to it and say, all of your friends have died because of your worthfulness to the grave that you don't belong to. We're here to send you home and vicious mockery. So you still have to do the, uh, DC 16. Alrighty. Wisdom, right? Uh, let me go back over to my character sheet. Uh, wisdom, yes. All right, fail. Man, this guy's having a real bad day. <laughs> he really is. 2d4, let me grab those. Uh, that's going to be 6 Psychic, and he'll have disadvantage on attacks again. All right, especially because he doesn't want to be here. <laughs> All right. Will that be The only it, person that cares about that is Zir. The rest of us are like, kill! <laughs> Anything else? All right. Bosric. Twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five will hit, yes. Thirteen damage. Thirteen? Nice. Um stop. <laughs> it's not. How do you take it out? I, it it puts some damage on Bosric, so he actually. Ooh, I have a sword. <laughs> there you go. Rest warrior. Just and take the head off. For a minute, it looks like nothing happened, and then. <laughs> All right. And then I will move thirty feet and attack the one by Zir. I thought it was 30 feet. Uh, I think you can, you can get in that angle between Quedon and uh, Zir, and that would be 30 feet. Okay. Then I will use a second use of Fighting Spirit as my bonus action. Okay. For another five bonus. 10 HP. To give myself advantage. That's a one. There's a one in there. All They're right. Good. Okay. Queden. Fantastic. First move is going to be that bonus action roll to hit. That's a 17 plus 7. That'll hit. That'll do it. Let's see here. That damage. Four plus four is eight points of damage. All right. Uh, and I think, like, I haven't made this totally clear throughout the rest of the terms, but like, purely. From Queden's service to Zarakis, like his pure hatred for the undead as just the most unnatural and unholy of beings, uh, like fully comes out. And as that slash comes down from the sky, he's just gonna erupt in laughter. Um, the 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 his his cruel and maniacal side does come out. Uh, and he's actually going to do something 
it's fairly uncharacteristic. Uh, he's going to uh, he's going to like look up at the weapon, and say, "We have much to talk about, but well, there's a first time for everything." And he's going to reach like uh, behind his back into like the many many layers of his robes. He pulls out. Uh, he has got a da, da, da. he's got a mace that he has um it's like a mace with uh what appears to be like the shortest of of sticks until he, he pulls it out from behind his robes and just like gives it a thrust downwards and like this retractable staff comes out and he just grabs it with both hands uh makes a full swing uh just with that pure hatred uh, fueling him, we're gonna make a standard mace attack. Okay. That is gonna be... Oh, I'm rolling really well with disadvantage. That's a 16 plus 7. Yeah. That'll hit. You are rolling really well with disadvantage. Eh, well, that's a nat 1 for the damage. That's a total of 3. <laughs> that's like poison who? Alright. Yeah. Flank, mate! Flank! I'm loving my turns. This is awesome. <laughs> Any movement? Uh, no. Okay. Clovis. Well, I hate to have another cook in this here kitchen, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna rush on down here. Um, I can't get all the way around, so uh, <laughs> walk up. Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. I just and stand on. Uh, and <laughs> gonna cast a uh, sacred flame. That's just that's your casting word for every spell. Just uh, standar. Yep. <laughs> All right, sacred flame, wisdom save or dex save. Sorry. Yes. Uh, that is a failed dex save, and that's more hit points than it has. Okay. Um, do I? I this is the f well. So running up to uh, flank with Bosric was the first time that Clovis got into earshot of one of these things. Have I heard them suffering? Yes. Okay. Then uh, as I hold out my hand to cast Sacred Flame, uh, Clovis would say, there is a great gleaming city on the back of a tortoise's shell. Seek entrance. <laughs> and light it on fire. All right. It screeches and melts into the snow, and combat will end with the fall of the final foe. And I did not even mean for that to rhyme, but it worked out. Oh, it was awesome. Roz <laughs> flicks his, the, the icker off of, off of his sword and... I'll go over to Mary and just... Uh kind of use a rag and clean some of the disemboweled zombie off of <laughs> off of her. Um, Mary is going to kind of turn her head to the one like solid hit where the long sword got her kind of on her flank and that long serpent tongue is going to come out again and just start licking it. Uh, well, that's bound to raise a few uh, few questions. Yeah. Well, how We'll we'll see if one of them can patch you up. Probably be something else to gore nearby, but uh, we should probably at least pretend to be part of a party until we're actually accepted by it. We fight well with friends. Maybe they're not cattle. Maybe they're wolves after all. Two of them at least. And if we're speaking in common, a bit low, but we are speaking in common. We can go join them now. All right. And in the interest of not starting a major story arc with less than 30 minutes to go, we are going to call session two done for today. We will be back next Wednesday with session three when our adventurers make their way to the Cathedral of the Threefold Path.